Would you rather have sex with a very ugly, smelly woman or a very beautiful corpse? What were you doing? This nigga was crazy. You seen him in the background? Stop. This nigga no, he's was wild. He's crushing, bro. He's crushing. <laughs> How? Who are we talking? <laughs> who are we Who's talking about? Person? Who? No, no, no. Like ice, ice spice, RP ice spice, bro. She oh, dead, bro. What you stop, doing? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> your key with name, bro. <laughs> no, no. RP ice spice, bro. Ice spice laid out, bro. Mm. Dead. Look at you, freak. Yo, out, no, I you're wildin'. Crazy. You're wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> how, yo, how, no, nigga, how ugly crazy. is she and how I'm bad she I'm talking about smiled. the worst. Like, nah, I mean, I gotta, bro. You got to, nigga. A dead body. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you talking about? <clears throat> hey, what's nigga, going on, man? Nigga's excited. Modify. Of course. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's going on, everybody? It's the one and only, the chosen one, aka player one, aka the only one, bro. And I'm back with another episode. It's been not too long, but it's been too long. How you doing, boys and girls? On my left, I have the one and only, the Oracle, the one who gets it started, the one who gets it done, the one that's the Uda without the gun. You know what I'm saying? Ifatunde. In the building, Darius Watkins. We're here on another episode of No Regular Podcast. Thank y'all for coming. Man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who's watching. Follow all the socials down below. Subscribe to the channel. There's a dog in the cage. Shout out to Collins in the background. Say what's good to all the people, Collins. What up, what up, what up? Yes, sir. Collins is watching. He's the producer of the show today because everybody is um. He got, he got a producer fit on too. Like, <laughs> tell you shit, he got the mics and all that. But uh, we got to tell we got to threaten niggas to uh, like the video. Do niggas don't be liking that shit? No, they, oh, ever since we threatened them, they oh, started liking it. Nigga, you better like that shit, bitch. Okay, Chris. Go ahead. That's you better it. like that shit, bitch. If you don't like that shit, your, your, your area stink. If you don't like that shit, your mom gonna die. If you don't like that shit, your dad gonna die. Everybody that you love gonna die if you don't like it. So you better like it right now. That's real shit, bro. <laughs> That's real shit. You better like it, bro. You better like it, bro. The I'm last... trying to save your family. I'm wow. Sorry. <laughs> last four <laughs> vids, bro, was at 50, 50 likes because you threatened niggas. Yeah, bro. So that's the, the that's the like, shit. That's, that shit crazy. Like y'all want us to, y'all want to stay at the bottom. Like, exactly, why the fuck y'all want to like that shit? And niggas be secretly fucking Hate. with the vids and shit. Like why exactly. I don't see you in the comment section? Can we leave some comments on this episode? Exactly. Don't leave a comment hurt. right now, bro. Post. And leave when you left the comment. I got to see your number when you left it. Touch exactly. And we'll comment back. Post mm -hmm. notifications too, because I heard that helps with the algorithm. Mm. So post, put y'all post notifications on if you want. If you enjoy the pod, you want to know. You know it's every Sunday. So if you're watching this right now, you're probably watching the Super Bowl. So you, they probably not watching this. Damn, they but if you real know. niggas, you watching this shit right now. Yeah, fuck the Super Bowl. Fuck, exactly. Uh, fuck them niggas. Fuck Taylor Swift. <laughs> fuck all the motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck the system, nigga. Watch, watch when, when this shit blow up. It was like, no regular podcast said fuck Taylor Swift. Yeah. And then all the Swifties, they gonna start banning us and shit. God damn, I'm sorry. But now, I, since we talk about that, I want to I wanna get my predictions, bro. And then we gonna we gonna see how everybody's predictions are. Cause I got something to I got something to say, bro. Hold on, let me go. I gotta pull out my notes though. You uh Google. Oh, before I actually pull out my notes, let me uh I have a surprise for you, sir. I have a present from no regulars, man. The fuck is this? You know, since you invested all your time. Not all your time, most of your time into the podcast. I decided to invest into you. Or the podcast did. I don't know if you can if that's of use. It should be. Niggas are talking about streaming. So that's your first step. Do you know what it is? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Niggas. I don't even know how to open it. Hold on, let me see you Let's see, let's see. Why you do that? I will look we at it. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Oh, that's a, what's that for Blue's Clues? Yeah. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo, bro. It's from. Oh, it's a mic. Yeah, bro. Oh, so, this is nice. This so is I nice. know you want to get your setup and shit. Yeah. So that's your one less thing you could buy, bro. Uh, we about to get active. We about to get active real soon. Yeah, if you want to see UJ on bro. live stream twerking, bro. Uh, You're crazy. <laughs> 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 you crazy. <laughs> Niggas would never... I seen one nigga like that, too. What, he twerking? Bro. Bro, he want that. That's how he get his views. Like, he stand up. And twerk? And he just twerk. Like, he be like, oh, I'm wilding. I'm wilding. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, I got to turn this shit on. The internet getting crazy. Nah, I'm Good not going to lie. No problem, bro. I'm glad you... Like it, bro. Crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The internet, I, I was, I forgot what I seen the other day, bro. Niggas on stream. Oh yeah, I seen it. I was on a TikTok live, 
And, like, you know how, like, TikToks, they're posting, like, lives a lot now? Mm. So there was a nigga playing Madden, but he was, like, say the TV's right here, mm-hmm. and he had uh, the phone facing the TV. Yeah, I definitely And he was like that. this. He was just going like this. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even that. playing. I've seen that, and it's working. That's so sad, bro. Nigga's not even playing the game. He's just going like this. I'll play you a Madden. Nigga's, like, really watching that shit. Bro, that's where we are today in the world, bro. <sighs> that's so bad, bro. That's bro, why I mean. you can literally get famous, get clout off of anything. That's so sad. But they it don't turn... necessarily mean bread. Don't mean bread. It means... What, what happened to uh, Pinky Doll? Pinky Doll? Who? You that was the... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I don't think she's... Damn. She made all her bread and kind of went under the radar. Like, everybody was doing that shit. Everybody was getting bread off it and then boom. Yeah. You said what, nigga? She do OnlyFans now, I think. She do? Nah, she been so. doing OnlyFans, though. Nigga, you, sub- you subscribe? Nah, bro. <laughs> bro. Subscribing is crazy, boys and girls that's out there, but don't subscribe. Bro. Yeah, it's don't free, don't bro. don't give money. I was about to tweet. Yeah. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> bro, you telling these y'all niggas the truth, bro. They hey, gotta hear it, Don't bro. give them no money, bro. It's all it's free. It's Ooh. literally free. We we preach freeness and uh free ninety nine and free ninety nine, bro. Free every- is always better, bro. Especially Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I just be seeing I just feel like bro niggas in the internet I don't know. It's just it just gets too weird, bro. There's always a there's a nick bro, there's a nigga that has like a giant balloon and he's like, All right, if whoever joins my live, if I get to this, this amount of likes, I'm gonna pop this balloon and then you raise bro, the likes up. That shit create is another nigga that would put eggs in his mouth. Yes, I seen that too. I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I looking at? I ain't gonna lie. It's entertaining. It was freaking entertaining. I'm like, let me see how many eggs. <laughs> you was liking I was, it? I wasn't liking it, but like. You was just watching it? If I came across it, nah. I did click on it. I won't lie, but but that's what our world is coming to. Like, nah, that's why what the I, fuck am I looking at this nigga with eggs, bro? I don't, that's why I don't want to be famous like that, bro. I'd rather do it on some cool shit. That's too weird, bro. I, this is my thing. Is I feel like however you got famous. You have to maintain that way because it'd be hard to change, right? Yeah. So if you got famous being like a broad individual, like you just doing whatever, mm-hmm. that's easy to do. Like nigga, it'll be unpredictable what you're gonna do next. Yeah. But if you got predictable being a weirdo, you have to maintain being a weirdo because if you try to be cool now, it was like, ain't you that nigga that was just wearing thongs on the internet, like, bro, that shit. That. But there's niggas like Speed and Jinxie that are actually like transitioning to being normal. Nah, Speed definitely be wilding still. He still be wilding, but it's not as much as usual. Nah, I just saw him fart in a girl face. Oh, really? On the Speed <laughs> thing, yeah. I ain't even look for it. I just be finding it. Oh my gosh. It's just so bad how they put certain... Like, what when we was growing up, what was, what was entertaining? When we were growing up, what was entertaining was, like, YouTube comedy. Like so what, like, like skits and stuff oh, like that. We loved skits. Like they uh, don't they don't watch skits no more and stuff like that. Maybe like uh, RD, Desi Banks and R D C when and they Drewski do and, and Drewski when they do. Yeah, but there's maybe five people. We had Vine. Yeah. So Vine literally was skits on skits on skits on skits. Like I know. Imagine TikTok Vine is kind of like that, but it's more so memes. Memes and it's longer videos. There's yeah. a lot more information based than Vine. Vine was basically it, Vine was low key like memes and just. And skits, and skits the whole time. Yeah, it was the whole time. Yeah. Imagine Vine never like went down. Low key, if you make a skit now and you're not one of the top dogs, it'd it be looking cringy to me. Oh yeah, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna say it on this pod because he might. They might be watching. I'm not gonna say it on the pod. But <laughs> but so, like, I, I'll talk about it later. I don't know. I just think niggas uh, from around the way be making skits and shit. Nah, not niggas. Niggas wanted us to make skits, but <laughs> was offering to produce. Like, tell us what to do with the skits. Nigga, fuck no. Yeah. That's literally using our image and our likeness and our... To, to yeah. put himself up. Nigga, fuck It was, no. it was something that like that. It was something like... Like, he's like, yo, if you want to be a part... He said, no, be a part of his skits. That's what he said. Like, we can be in the skits. But skit. in reality... You know. It hit different. Yeah, it do. But, hey. But, hey, bro. I, I, I might have an idea, though. But um, I, li- I like acting and shit like that. But it got to come under my umbrella and the things I'm comfortable with. Yeah, that's straight. For me, I bro. just feel like for me, I, I don't know if I can act, bro. Why not? I don't think I'm a good actor. Let's do it, bro. All right, what well, we gonna scene, act out? Bro. Cons, give us a thing. Uh, <laughs> give us a scenario. <laughs> don't do no mookie shit. Look at this yeah, nigga laughing. No <laughs> Nigga's about to give us some mook shit. No, no, no. I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm bro. scared. I got you, bro. What you got? Um, I'm your uncle. Uh huh. And I just took your car, 
and I max your shit. Oh, so and like I'm your so, nephew. Yeah, you're my nephew. So I just took your car how, after you told me not to. How I took the, your car, I maxed your shit, and I came back. I'm like, hey. How old am I? Eighteen. You are seventeen. Seventeen. So I I just bought this car. You this your first. This your big girl. Like this your first car. Okay. 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 Bad. Bad. All right. So go ahead. Go ahead. All right, ready. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, do you want? Do you want? That was good, huh? Yeah, what's up, big boy? Uh, I know you told me not to use your car. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you made me laugh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you ain't laugh, bro. I'm a country nigga when I'm up, bro. That's fine. All right, bro. See, I know you told me not to use your car, but I had to go, you know, do my everyday do. Yeah, no, it's okay. You, you know, as long as all the car's okay, you know. But some... You know what I'm saying? Some of them, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you got a flat tire? Uh, a dent? Uh, what happened to the car? Uh, So, it's raining a little bit outside, and I nigga, I'm just, uh, a nigga, uh, huh, huh, in the car. I don't know who did it. I met, maybe God is in the car or something, or, or the devil. The Satan, Satan in the car. He had to be in the car. And I, uh, I swerved off the road, bro. Is the car drivable? It's done. You totaled the car. The car. Is over, man. I spent my whole life savings on that car. But you know, money come and go. You know, we can always get a new one. I worked at Shoprite making eight dollars an hour for four years, saving up for that car. This nigga not angry enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you I know, mean, <laughs> you're not gonna yell at your uncle though. Huh? You wouldn't yell at your uncle. You I'm, got I'm you're angry. I was about to start yeah. crying, bro. He wasn't there, yeah, bro. He wasn't there. Like he wasn't he wasn't angry enough. You gotta get in there. Like, like I saved all my life for this car. <laughs> See, that's why I can't I'm act, bro. Yo, I'm not good at You acting, gotta get bro. into it. Like it's just I I started to me. I'm such a great actor. I started stuttering. <laughs> I'm like, hey, shit, I don't I started mumbling cause you know when a nigga fuck up, he started mumbling. <laughs> 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 nigga fuck up, he started mumbling. Like, you know I did the uh and the shit just, <clears throat> shit got, <clears throat> <laughs> this <laughs> nigga, that <laughs> shit just, boom, bro. So you think you could be an actor? Hell yeah. Like for what, for, like what would be your base like film? So I think I could, my, I think I could definitely do a comedy. Okay. I could definitely do. I can see you in a Medea movie. He just disrespected the fuck out of me. Not, <laughs> no offense to Tyler Perry and all that. What the fuck about me saying Medea movie because I'm black, big black with a fucking hoop earring and shit. The racism is crazy. <laughs> Yo. Franklin Saint Uncle. Yeah, like that shit. Jerome is yeah, crazy. Jerome. I could I could play a Jerome though. The old I could play an old school nigga. This big old school, you know, programming. Are you gonna be like a, like a Cali? Are you gonna be like a Cali nigga? You gonna be the main character? Oh, why did I even ask that? I wouldn't I not I wouldn't be a main character. You man. don't wanna be the main That's character? That's too much pressure. I would wanna be the the underdog character that everybody loves. What do you mean? Oh, like the niggas that's like, ah, I get what you mean. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Like, like the, the family favorite. Yeah, family favorite, even though he's not being pushed, but the world is going to push him to be bigger than where he's supposed to be. Oh, uh, I, mean. I get what you mean. the nigga do his role so well. It's like, yeah, we got we got to put him up. He wow. got to get more roles. So you got comedy. Can you do a horror? I don't. I can't see you in horror. I can't do no horror. I can't even see this nigga scared for real, bro. Like, nah. I can't fake it. Like, I can't be like, ah, I can't do it. I don't know how to explain it. Really? You can't like, be scared? Like, I, <laughs> I gotta legit be scared, like. But what do you do when you're scared? Do you scream or do you be like? I don't even know how to scream for a. We admit through that. I don't really know how to scream, so I can yell, like I can. Oh shit! Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's the most I can do is a oh shit. Brother. I think I heard like ah like that. Yeah, I could play. This is what I could do. I could do. I could do an action movie. Uh-huh. Like, I could be like The Rock. I could be the next Rock. Like for, I could do a comedy. You hear about it, man? You about that's crazy. I could be like a. I could be comedy movie. I could do a. Ro- I could do a romance. For me, I could do romance. A- <laughs> is crazy. I think gonna be a stomp the yard. I could be. A, I could be a romance, bro. I could be in. A, I could be in a dance movie. I could be in a in a a play. Nah, I don't think you could do play. That's too serious, a, bro. I could be in a play, bro. Like like uh like Beethoven, not Beethoven. But the thing in a play, I wouldn't be throughout the whole play. Like I'm not gonna be a main character. I'm gonna be literally a scene in the play. Like, what scene would it be? Like, like what would you play? The villain? Shit. I could be a villain. One of the villains. I could be like, you know how they have. What's that word? Like, say there's like a guest appearance. 
Like, like it's a cameo? Cameo. I can have a cameo. <laughs> I'm going to have hella... We get famous, I'm going to have hella cameos in this. Like, hey, guys, and you just hear the background noise. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could definitely, I could definitely, I could see myself on Disney. On Disney? Yeah. Nah, I don't, think, I don't know about right now. But I could definitely be on Power, though. I'm a, I am could, I could be on a show that's selling some drugs, bro. <laughs> Snowfall? Yeah, I could definitely be on Snowfall. Uh, what's, definitely. That, what's that one with Pablo Escobar? Narcos. If, if it's some people like me... Selling drugs, I could be on there. Wait, why? The <laughs> Nigga said selling drugs. Yeah, we selling. If it's a, it's crazy to say. If it's a gang movie, or a drug movie, <laughs> I could definitely be in it. If it's a gang like, like my gang, your gang, I could definitely. Right, be in say, it. say, uh, niggas offered you like money to be in like Fifty Shades of Grey. Would you do that? I never seen Fifty Shades of Grey, but I heard it's like a lot of sex and stuff. Yeah, I got get ass naked and shit. Well, did they? Did they get ass naked? I don't, wanna... I don't think so. Think so. No, they think they did. I don't know. Something about people getting naked on TV just don't sit right with me. I know. There's like probably like forty niggas in there just yeah, watching you. I'm not. I ain't doing that. Though. Ain't doing that. Nah. That's that's one thing. I wouldn't sell out like how niggas be selling out. <laughs> I wouldn't sell out like you know how niggas would do a gay scene. Like I don't. I wouldn't do a gay scene. Hell no. What? But some people be so caught in their like their art. And the nigga, the bread, that ain't art. Okay, the bread, the the nigga be so caught in it, and it be like, you know what, you know, I'm a man, I'm comfortable with my skin. I don't know, bro. I ain't Cause comfortable they, to be. Cause do do they be having sex or is it just like they're? Nah, faking I heard it? sometimes there's like a ball in between them and shit like that. Oh, so you gotta fake it too? Yeah, Damn, that sucks. That's probably. But the thing is, I heard that scenes be lasting low key. So like they'll, you'll be on top and be like, oh, oh, stay right there. Then they switch the camera all around. So they, the prison just on top of you. So they get another angle. Oh, nah. So a sex scene could really go on for a little while. Like 30 minutes? Type shit. Nah, that's bad. I would not do that. I can never do that shit, I, bro. Mm, nah. Nah, I wouldn't do it. That's that's like, that's awkward. Maybe, maybe bro. Maybe I'll do a kiss scene. I mean. I, with a baddie, though. I'll what, do a kiss scene with, with a bad. a With a bad. What, what baddie? What, what baddie actress? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know the actors like the actress like that. There's not really a lot. They're all like there's really not a lot of actresses that niggas know by at least. Besides like the Megan Goods and shit like that. I don't even know. But like they I old though. Eh, I don't give a fuck. I know you don't care. I know you don't care, it's crazy, bro. I've turned a new leaf, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've turned a new leaf, bro. Don't, bro. I need a Valentine, bro. Valentine's Day coming up. Bro. Hey, I'm glad you said that. Because I do have a segment for you. What's the, it's not that. It's because it's Valentine's Day. All right, bet, 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 bet. I'm here. And I want to know y'all. I want to know y'all opinions. All right. Mm-hmm. You said what? Got to bring them in for him. Who? Oh, oh, you thought but, you thought we had an e date? Like we had a I blind date? I thought you had him for me, but I'm ready. Blind date? Hell no. I got the others on I, for the bed. So I got deal breakers in women. Yeah. What is so? Going on? In your opinion, yeah. Based on what I'm about to tell you, would this be a deal break for you if this person had this mm-hmm. quality about them? Okay, bad hygiene. Yeah, you gotta go. Like I'm talking about musky. Yeah, yeah. come on, come on. But like, what? what <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> come on, say something. What is she like? I don't care how good you look, bro. If you smelling, it bring your tear down. A like lot. she a ten. She eleven. Still I can't, slow. I can't. You're I done. can't fight You're it. You're done. You're done. Musty, bro. Musty is crazy. Like, you might as well. Dread what if she? What if she's like? She be like? She still be washing. Okay, it's right. crazy. Okay, like just your whole beauty yet is is smelling like I'm not a fan. <laughs> like not a fan at all. All right, she has a lot of guy friends. Like I mean, all her friends are guys. All her friends are guys. Yeah, like she's like she a bro. What do you mean by she a bro? Not like she not like she like a dyke, but like she like like all her like she don't really get along with girls, so she got a lot of guy friends. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan either. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, cause but I don't. I don't know if that's a deal breaker. It depends on how many guy friends. Like, well, say if it's like her and the fleas, it's a problem because one of them niggas is trying to yeah. knock that motherfucker out saying. the fucking park. Yeah, I know. He's so, just he's just in the he's just waiting right on he's his waiting. waiting waiting on that moment. Like he's waiting <laughs> on that moment. 
Well, it's I, like, I know how the game go because we guys, we got bros. I know how it go. Niggas will dead play the long game. Oh, yeah. It's not, yo. It's And I feel like girls, they don't know this. They do know that. They, they don't give a fuck. Hey, bro, that's so sad. It's like, say if it's like four friends. No, nah, I'm not tripping. You're not yeah, tripping with four, four friends? Crazy, yeah. Okay. What if, now, what if one of them... If she used to mess with one of them, it'd be yes. like, oh, we're friends now. All that shit done. Okay, no, okay. Definitely. You two kind of same thing? Word. Same thing? But she ain't never touched none of them. They they probably grew up together. I don't give Okay, yeah, no, nah, that's cool. Yeah, that's I'm straight. Cool, That'd probably be good, though, because she probably got, like, qualities. Like, she probably... She probably, she probably um, like video, video games. games. She, probably she probably like hooping. She yeah, probably like, like roughing up and shit, like you, like yeah. wrestling and shit. Yeah, yeah that's right. So I'm, I'm definitely cool with that. All right. Your mom doesn't like her. Hmm. That's a crazy one. I ain't gonna lie. OG is opinion is very important. It's very important. But what if it's like your girlfriend do nothing for her to her to make her mad? She just your mom just look at her like oh, that. Just, she might not be the one for you. Knowing my mom, she'll still play friendly, but she won't. Like she won't. My mom won't cause no, no, no eruption. No so, eruption. Yeah. But so, would uh, you still like be cool? With, like, would you be okay with that? Like, would would that be a deal breaker? Like, would you want to like break up with her? If my mom come to me and be like, I don't know, if she the one for you. She, yeah, she might. She figured I had to go. Really? Uh-huh. What if it's like two years in? She's been. She's nah, been. Then my mom already know. That's what, my mom personally. I know she, she, she's one of those wait and see. Mm, like so like you learn your lesson. Really, yeah, you will learn your lesson. Wait and see. Learn your lesson type With shit. The fire, fire hot. I'm gonna tell you. Don't touch the fire. If you one go time. and touch it, that's your fault. That's your fault. Oh, okay. Uh, so if it was two years, you wouldn't break up with. If you nah, really love her. If I really like her. Nah. Okay. How about you, Collins? If I'm just if I just start messing with, her, then my mom say that. You gotta go. I don't know. You gotta you, go. There's a lot but of women. But then again, though. like mm. at the same time, your mother could be trying to set some shit up for you, and she wants oh, you yeah. with this person, this person not yeah. that one. That so is true. I don't think it's a deal breaker for real. Okay. But it, obviously, I want my mom to like my my girl. But yeah, I'm big. I say, I'm big on family, so that's what I'm saying. Try, I would try to fix it up, see if I can, if I could. Of course, because I wouldn't be with somebody who I don't feel like is comfortable bodies with my mom. That is true. You know what I'm saying? That is true. Mom, uh, like, our morals got aligned. Like, niggas be dealing with people who don't even believe in in the God that they believe in. Yeah. So And they try I, to, yeah. like, they, you know, they do, they they see the potential, and they try to force that upon them, and knowing that they're not, and it's like, they're just, like, clashing like this. That's why yeah. it never works out. Mm-hmm. So that's why, fellas, it's important to find a girl that not only is good for you, but like a lot, Fellas her thought and, process and gals, because we got yeah, we got, we got to show love to both people. Of course, show love to a woman. It's like you have to find ones that not only align with uh, your life, but your mentality in life. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know, like uh, there's people that say like sometimes you find the wrong right person at the wrong time. Yeah. I don't really believe in that, low key. I don't believe in that at all. I feel like that's some BS. I feel like that's just an excuse mm-hmm. to be like, you know what, I don't want to try no more. But then at the same time. It's people that I've met to be like, damn, if we would have met now, it would have worked. But I still feel like you ain't supposed to be. I feel like it's all meant to be, though. Yeah. What about Nelly? You see him? He happy. He happy, he, yeah. So it could have been Nelly? Like, yeah. yeah. Why? What's with, what's with Nelly? He, he, he spun he, it back. He spun back. Uh, that nigga, like, smiling and shit. <laughs> From ear to ear type it shit? Could, it really could be, like, it's some it's certain girls that I'm, like, in my head right now, I know if we would have met, like, this year, 2024, that shit would have, we probably would have got married. Really, yeah. hikey. Really, but don't you think that's? Don't you think that might like mess up some things, or you think? No, nah, be... I still feel like those experiences with them girls was like learning experiences. The reason why I am why I am right now. Oh, uh, I think like well, I think right now I needed all that, but because for some reason I was very like I met a lot of either crazy or hoes. Mm. And sometimes a nigga got a bow phone. A bum. Like, in. <laughs> they a said bums bum. is crazy. Sometimes I, either, <laughs> like I never fuck with a bum. Like, undercover. I would get a Undercover bow phone, bums? Man. Or yeah. undercover hoes? Undercover Bo- hoes. <laughs> I don't know. Undercover, undercover, undercover hoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could never, ever, 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 ever on God's green earth get mad or have anything, any hateful feelings towards a girl who is a blatant hoe. Like, oh, yeah. I'm dealing with you. I know you a hoe. You telling me I got niggas. You telling me this. I can't get mad. You told me that shit. Yeah, that's true. But the ones who sneaky and they like, oh, no, I would never. Oh, I'm over him. I don't. 
Those uh, are the ones that catch you. I don't like that. That's crazy. Like, Damn, I thought you. I believed you for that. I believed I really in you. Fuck with well, yeah. for real, yeah. I fucked with Shot. I fucked with Little Shot, and she lied, bro. What did Abel say? I believed in you. Then 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 I done seen in you. That's, I don't know the words. I'm sorry. Look at them. Put you the song. <laughs> but, uh, bro. Oh, man. You got another one on there, brother? Yeah. Um, she's in the gang. No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> She a crip. She is in a gang. Niggas excited for the crip. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. She's in a gang. Yeah, like she's, she's in a gang. Like she's active. Like yes. <laughs> she throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, not, not, what I'm she's, not a fan. Right, she's she, active, but she's not like if she's blatant about it. Spinning blocks. I'm not fucking with nobody. Like she be like, she be like, if she's from a hood, right? If she's from there, yeah. And you know, sometimes you be outside the hood days and. Honestly, I I told I'm done with her bitch. I, I I ain't messed with her bitch in, in a long time. So I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm cool. Nah, I used to I, fuck with her bitch. I I'll be honest, man. I used to be catching the bust of the hood. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I used to be over there. Nah, I, I ain't can't. gonna say where, but I used to be over there, bro. But it's like like imagine she not she not active like throwing it out there like she got like on a in a bio she got like if she tatted. If she got, she like if she just in her pictures like when she with like her family members. And family that's how members it be again. Too. Yeah, family's in the gang. Um, she's like, uh, she's not really. She's it's not, like, it's not a deal breaker. I'm gonna be honest. But it's like, if, if niggas call her up, she's gonna go. <laughs> she, <laughs> this type of shit. If she's, she could just be from that hood. Yeah. If she's a block spinner, nigga is dead. <laughs> she's not a block spinner, but one of the girls called like to beat this bitch ass, she's gonna leave immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, that's We're slow. For that. for that. That's <laughs> slow. Too much drama, bro. I don't, I don't want no, I don't like drama. So if you grown and you. Like waiting outside somebody's house trying to fight with your uh with your head tied up and yeah hell yeah, no. No, 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 no hell no bro I don't know no, no, you no, still no. you still want a gang member Collins hell no still no I said because you said you he said it's not a deal breaker though if it's they not from, a deal breaker if they're from a hood it's they, not a deal breaker nah, nah, if they the, from there and they don't bang it's a good girl that's cool yeah, nah that's cool but I'm talking about no she does like it's like she got jumped in and she got doing it she got put on. No. Okay. 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 Hell no. And now the last one is she wants to be in an open relationship with you. If I got a lot of bitches, yes. <laughs> if you my sne- if that's how we running it, then that's how we running no, 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 it. No, no, if no, I got no, my no, bitches no, no, too, no no no, 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 no. If I got I'm mad bitches, yes. Like take her seriously or no? You got I, no you guys are serious. you guys are one year in. And she's like, oh, I want to oh, be fuck, in no, no, you're please. done. Yeah, fuck that's, so that's so fuck slow. Out that's so slow. No, that, that's now, true. what if you guys just meet? you like, damn, this is the love of my life. She's like, I will let you be in an open relationship with bro, me. Bro, you know I love you, bro. That's not me, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to be a love of my life. I just met her. <laughs> You've been talking to her for... You, nah, she's not the love of your life, but you guys, you really like her. Like, you really like her shit. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan. I'm not even a fan of when niggas be... When be like, oh, get another bitch and we're going to fuck her together. I'm not even That's that very thing. weird. That's a fact. That's very it's not weird. very weird. Like, I'll let two of them Jones, like, you know what I'm saying? Bing, bing, bing. I'll let them bing, bing, bing. But wait, I don't care for. Wait, what do you explain that one? I'll let them. Uh, Suck a son. I'll, <laughs> That's how you say I'll let them show me a quick equation. Show me their brains. <laughs> That's that's too much. That's too, too much, much work. It's too much work. Too much stress, bro. Too much stress, bro. That's you know crazy. But at the same time, I don't even like maintaining too many women at once because I can't do it. Because for I, first of all, I I'm at the point in life I can't even fake the funk. Like I can't even fake like I like you. Really? I can't even do it. Like back in the day, player shit. Like I used to be lying to bitches on the phone. Like, I ain't gonna lie. lie. I ain't fuck with you. Like I can't do it no more. Dang. I'm gonna tell you what it is or what it ain't. Like. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Hey, that's it's called growth, bro. Nah, it's called I'm tired of you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's called. Like, hey, that's a, that's another one too. That's, that's another one called, too. Bro. But and the last one, it's it kind of goes on with the other one, but it's she's friends with her ex. Oh, it's dead. Nah, I ain't gonna front though. Mm. If nah, it's dead. It's super what, dead. What was you gonna say? Because girls that's friends with me. <laughs> if they call me, be like. Yo, come over. You on the way. I ain't on the way, but... You on a jo- slight jog. It yeah. depends on who it is. Yeah, yeah, ex. He talking about if they friends with the ex. If they for ESD. I'm talking about if I'm the ex, like like Rosa first. Oh, yeah, I'm the ex. 
That, I know that shit. Nigga, leave it. Don't, don't fuck with nobody who friends with the ex, bro. Because I know there's girls who, dang, I'm politicking right now. But there's girls yeah. that'll call you once they mad with their mans, and now you are the replacement. Like, I had to let the dog out, bro. This nigga was annoying me. Mm. But... I don't know, bro. I just think that's just too much, bro. Nah, I'm not a fit. You could be cordial with with your ex, what's, but friends. What's cordial? The cordial is cordial. it's no beef. Like I don't I don't hate you. You don't hate me. We could walk past each other in the street and it's not lit. Or my my new nigga don't gotta fight my old nigga like that. Like that's cordial. Mm. Like it's no issues. Like we don't got no problem. We just didn't work. You could dead be cordial, but the there's mic. also like, hell no. Friends, my nigga? Yeah, like they... Like, hey, how you doing today? What's going on? You, you bust new stupid? Yeah, fuck, that's no. wild, bro. That's crazy. Fuck, I know how I talk to girls, so I already know. I don't, I'm not a fan. Hey, man. It's... Like, because, yo, I was, I was doing this because, like, a lot of people have been asking us. Or a lot of people... Some people be asking us in the comments, and then my DMs asking, like, for, you know, for advice. For... It's like, there was one guy, he put in the comments, he wanted to... He said... He gave it to the love doctor. Yeah, he's the perfect guy for you, brother. He said he likes a girl, uh-huh. but he doesn't know if the girl likes him back. No, she don't like you, bro. <laughs> hey, he keeps it real, bro. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. At she the, don't like you. Girl. You should know. Yeah, you would man. know if somebody like you, right? Yeah, yeah, no. At the end of the day, you know if somebody is there's there's blatant signs. They want to oh. see you all the time. They want to talk to you all the time. They have fun. They like uh, laugh at your jokes a lot. Mm-hmm. They think you stupid, funny as hell. If, if she's not doing that to you, bro, you just gotta you gotta find another one, bro. It's all good. There's a lot out here, but you just gotta put yourself out there. You put yourself out there, you gonna find it. But you know, mm-hmm. whoever cause is, chill like you. That is what it is, how, brother. How long was he? She don't like. He bro, I'm he you, was you know. For? Nah, he didn't tell me. He didn't say how long. You he was some know. instant shit. Then if it's like a girl you just met, you've been talking to her for a week. She like you know, but a nigga like me, bro. I'm team delusional. So if you don't like me right now, you will. <laughs> sick, bro. Yo, you're is... like, oh, you don't like me yet. It's fine. Just give give it a little bit. I'm going to tell you a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is crazy. Uh, you got any topics you want to talk about? Anything you uh, want to bring up? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. We got to get into what we was talking about um, prior, right? Yeah. So you, you asked me earlier if like, what wrestlers I could fight or some 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 shit like that. Yeah. But I was thinking about like what sport mm-hmm. outside of powerlifting. Right? Yeah, because that is technically a sport. It's a sport. Outside of powerlifting has the strongest athletes. I'm a I'm gonna give a very um unpopular opinion. Mm. Baseball players are strong as hell. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie. Like football players are strong, basketball basketball really not that strong. Baseball players, mm-hmm. they're all ock. Like, I'm telling you, because in baseball, like, it's a very stationary sport. Mm-hmm. So, you don't really got to do too much running. In football, you got to worry about flexibility. You got to worry about, like, different types of movements because you could hurt yourself. In baseball, you just hit and run a quick sprint. Mm-hmm. Yo, them niggas, them baseball niggas that at our school, they is like, like this, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's either them or... Nah, I feel like it's baseball players, though. I feel like baseball players are the strongest ones. So strongest athletes. Strongest athletes. Yeah. So I feel like people will confuse tough and strong. So niggas will say rugby. I don't think rugby niggas no. is that strong. I think they just tough. I feel like they're just like football. Football niggas mixed with like soccer. soccer football niggas and like soccer bodies. Soccer, yeah. Tough, but like a little, shit, but a little bit yeah. bigger though. A little, not a lot. Some of them be, yeah. Some of them be, big, but I don't yeah. think they're stronger. I don't know. I think they're they're tough niggas. Durable. Like they durable. Like yeah. You hit them, it's like Samoans is is yeah, could yeah, go yeah, and play yeah. that shit. Yeah. But I would say wrestlers. I was gonna say wrestlers too. I was Amateur wrestlers. wrestlers are dumb strong. You know why like, though? It's because you gotta them niggas is literally. Throwing grown ass men, Man, yeah. So I would think they're throwing dead weight. Yeah, like, dead weight. When someone pick you up, you know you ain't letting them. Exactly. You so you gotta like lean. You can't lean. Like, 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 that shit. I was gonna say wrestling, but I still because I just I be seeing the baseball niggas, and it's just like, bro, if these niggas, it's like because they're literally just power lifters, honestly, mm-hmm. because they don't they don't have to stretch. They don't gotta do none of that shit. Because the only thing they stretch is their arms, but that's nothing crazy. 
these niggas really just be lifting three, four hundred pounds, just like deadlifting, bench pressing, like two fifty. Mm. Like it's crazy. Maybe not my school, but I be seeing like Division One baseball players. Them niggas. Just All right, shit. So I have a sleeper, right? Who that no one a sleeper sport that no one would guess. Right? Yeah, but I think skateboarders are dumb strong. Nah. Look, 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 right? When I I seen one nigga jump from like a sixteen step shit. Yeah. I don't care what sport you play to come down like that and land it and your knees and your legs and your bones not shatter. Yeah. But is that you flexibility or strong. strength? That's strength. That is strength. But that's that's that is, it could be okay, I get what you I see what you're coming from. But I don't think they're strong. All right, though. so that may not be brute strength. Yeah, it's not brute strength, but, but that's that, good. They are durable. They that could be durability. That could be durability. That's like, true. That's true. In like a way of rugby. Because them niggas, mm. yo, you know them niggas don't fucking work out. That's that's true. But I'm saying like you have to be real. Like your legs got to be real structured to, to land from as high as fuck as they be landing. And even say they miss one. They miss a, a ramp. Yeah. And they knee slide down. <laughs> that shit look like it fucking hurt. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So it could, it could be durability there. What do you think, Colin? What do you think? Yeah, so with skateboarding, let's say he jumped down that 16 set, mm-hmm. right? If he land on his feet, that shit hurt. It hurt. When he man. land on the board, it's like it absorbed the impact low key. Mm. Mm. But they be falling. They don't get it first try. Yeah, so. that's what they be falling. But that, that, that could actually, be, you're right. That, that might have to do with, with, with toughness. Because that shit is crazy, bro. Did I tell you I wanted to be a skater, bro? That was my first. Everybody thing. did. And then I couldn't do a uh, ollie, so I gave up. I feel like everybody did, but we, I kept getting the the weak ass skateboards, like the Walmart Jones. No, nah, so they wouldn't really roll. What the hell did you like? My mom like was the, the, the plastic wheels, yeah. the plastic it wheels, rubber, yeah. no bearings in it. Because I'd be like, truck. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd be like, mom, I want a skateboard for Christmas. All right, twenty dollars, twenty dollar board from Walmart. Oh, I had a, gosh. I had a fucking a Ninja Turtle board. Oh no, I had a, I, I got my shit from Zoomies. My first one. So my, that's a real one. Yeah, no, it was a real one. I was like, oh, man. niggas up. No, nah, I was up. It was, it was it like it was like a birthday gift, but like when I I remember my mom brought me and my cousins to the skate park and we're looking, we're like, nah, this shit ain't for us, bro. These well, niggas you didn't want to go down the ramp. Hell no, I was scared as shit, bro. Mm. I was like nine, had to be nine. If you would have brought me right in yeah. my younger days, I wouldn't have been scared. Like a, a kid, I would I fear nothing. Now, I feel I like never. me mine is like reversed. Right. Like I'm like when I was a kid I was type scared but now I ain't that scared no more. Nah, I'm I'm not going. Like I'll do like I just I just like fuck it, whatever. Like I used to go to we used to go down hella hills like with ripsticks, bikes. Oh no, ripstick is crazy. uh, Wagons like we were staying on the like we used to wild out. You know that that street when you go up there's Bernard Barbecue right there. Yeah. There's like a long ass hill going all the way down. Like, damn, what's the name of that street? You talking about by your house? Yeah, by my old house. Um, it's a long ass hill. Like the whole street is a hill. You was that? We would stand on wagons. And, is it like a? It's like a drop. Like a, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. I remember me and Javon used to run around there. Like that's to what work that, out. you know. That's where Javon got hurt. Oh, that's yeah. I know what you're talking that about. Street with Javon. Uh, got fifth hurt. grade, right? When yeah. he fell off his bike. Yeah, yeah. I thought that cause, street because that's where niggas really used to yeah. extreme it. Like <laughs> he really used to go down that shit. Niggas like so. Why did Why did got hurt on that street too? He was on a ripstick, and he hit a rock, a pebble, and he. Like flu? flu, yeah, yeah. See, that's, no, that's all it takes. One rock, one pebble. See, that's what I'm. I'm scared. I don't, I do not like scrapes, bro. I don't like no scrapes, no cuts, none of that this shit. Like, not no more. I cannot deal with none of that shit. I anymore. used to do that shit down Kiwami, that big ass hill. Oh, that's, that's which one? The one on the uh... yeah, right by the uh, fire station, whatever it's called. No, I'm oh, saying now, no. now I can't even like a hill. I don't want to see it. Like, I don't even think I yeah, go no, down I the can... hill on a bike. I'll still, I'll put the brake on a little bit. See, for me, if it, if it's, like, something where I know I might get, like, scraped up or fucked up, I won't do it. I'll be scared of shit. Mm. But if it's something like, like, skydiving, I can do that shit. I'll fuck it. I'll hop out, hop out the plane room type shit. I'll be I the first wanna, one. I want to do it. I look you want to skydive, though. I mean, it's fun. I feel like when I'm up there, I'm just going to, like, yeah, fuck it. You have me doing white people shit, bro. Fuck it, bro. We got to, we got to open yeah, our horizons. Bro. Fuck it, though. We gotta open up our horizons, bro. Fuck it, bro. I'm ready, bro. Y'all wanna see no regular skydiving, bro? Uh, we need 200 likes. You know, Fritz ain't doing. Know. Fritz ain't going. For 200 likes, he better go, man. That Fritz might be that's like going. that might be bread right there. What the Fritz fuck? Ain't going. How much? 
Nah. If y'all want Fritz to comment down in the comments, bro. They, these people be sick, bro. You're the only nigga I feel like he wouldn't he wouldn't spin. Fritz not going. Who okay, Jordan would go. Ish would go. Uh Jason would go. Chris, I don't think Chris is going. Ty Ty might go. Tyrone might go. Ty, Corey's, Ty's mentality is I'm not pussy. So that I is. Go. Ky, uh, Corey probably. Corey's iffy. Mm-hmm. Corey might go. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, all right. So, since you was talking about the wrestling shit, right? Or the the, the reason why I asked you that wrestling question because I have a, a question for you. Because I remember I got from the when we was playing the game. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather for your life? So, you have to complete this or you will die. Mm-hmm. I can never die. I live eternally, bro. Real shit, bro. Real shit. Mm-hmm. So, you must guard Kobe when he was scoring 81 points. If you foul out, oh, you it don't count. <laughs> see, look, see, I like how you said that because my trick is no nigga will ever score that many points on me because, nigga, I will die about it, nigga. I'm getting fouled out the game or that nigga getting injured. I promise you. That's anyway, crazy. What you, say. you can't foul out, mm-hmm. but every time you foul out, it's like it, it loops back. You keep going. Like, keep going in. Mm-hmm. Or... You have to beat Randy Orton in a wrestling match. Um. So, so like, not what by wrestling match. When I asked you, it's like not like scripted. Like niggas know who's gonna win. It's just like whoever wins, like pins the nigga on the ground first wins. First and foremost, bro. If eighty one points, he Kobe's getting hurt. <laughs> Yo, for nigga going for eighty one on me. I ain't gonna lie, he ain't scoring that eighty one on me, bro. Nigga, I promise you, he get hurt. I promise. Um, mm. <laughs> foul. <laughs> like, nigga, everything is a foul. I promise you, everything is a foul, bro. So you go pick Kobe. I mean, I go. I could take Randy. Nah. In the match, I could take Randy in the match. Nah, we about the same size. I'm going for Kobe, bro. I will take. I'm I, not, I just want to. I want to go for Kobe to, to see though. See if you could do yeah. it. Yeah. Randy is the Randy Orange shit is more realistic. Yeah. I want to see what's up with Kobe. If you like. Is he really the mom, but though? That's what I'm like, saying. Is he really gonna get is out? Is he of really gonna cook me? I'm going, I don't I'm think going, so. No, 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 no. He's going to cook, and he I'm gonna, gonna s- hurt. He'll give me forty, bro. I'm gonna. And you said niggas can't foul out. If you would have said niggas could foul out, I would have fouled out. But now that niggas <laughs> can't foul out, he has to get injured. <laughs> niggas, if said, I was to be in the league, right? Yeah. If you so today, right? You drop me in the NBA, right? Yeah. My role in the NBA would be of all the dark skin niggas. The Pat Bev, wow. the Draymond Green, wow. the Quincy Aces, the Quincy Aces, wow, like Bold. that. <laughs> the Montrez Heralds, like that's that's my job. That's I'm going in to be a nuisance, an, an enforcer, a nuisance, annoying. I'm pulling jerseys. I'm t- I'm yelling. KG, a Kevin Garnett type nigga. Like <laughs> I'm gonna be so delusional on the court. Like the I'm going to be a real dark skin nigga. The Nassis? No, no, not the Nassis, but he brown skin, bro. I'm going to be like that. All the dark skin niggas on the court is me. Get in the cage. I'm fine, Randy Orton. No cap. I, I mean, we got, we got a match. I guard Kobe bro. though. Clan. I feel like guard Kobe would be more entertainment. Are we? Uh. Who, Randy though? I fight Randy. I definitely fight Randy. Um, how, how would how big is he? He about six. Care. He's about six four. Ain't worried about it. How much yeah. he weigh? Don't worry, I lift. Oh, I lift too. I definitely do lift. But like I said, I would. I just because I love basketball. I love competition, bro. So I gotta see what's to Kobe, bro. What's to Kobe? Like what he about for real? Yeah. Take take away the fouled out shit, right? Yeah. Because what I want to do is use my fouls. Properly, so every hit, nigga, you go up. Mm. You gonna get flagrant, you know that, right? Yeah, but all right, bro. You, you, you see this? Then you gotta start over. All right, bet two flagrants and y'all. So I got one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can get a flagrant, flagrant too. too then you oh yeah, you're right, you're right. So right, you can't right. like hit. Just don't hit him in the head. When he go up for the late, I'm going under. And that, I'm might playing, a, like, that, that might be a foul. That might be a foul. That might be a foul. That's not gonna be a flagrant. You gotta know how to play it off. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm gonna know how to play it off. Like I'm gonna act like, yo, I didn't hit him. And the nigga Draymond was beating niggas up for like the last five years. That is true. That is, he ain't lying. So I could do it. Pat Bev. I seen Pat Bev elbow uh, Isaiah Stewart. Yeah, yeah. I'm I doing that. one of those. Like I'm saying, yo, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Kobe's just gonna post me up. That's the only thing I'm gonna have a problem Look with. Good. He pulls me up. I'll do this right here. 
That's what I'm saying. Oh. That look, look kind of crazy. I'm mm, mm, right in his rib. Right in the rib. I'm telling you, I'm promise you, I'm cheating, bro. I know he's not. He's not scoring that 81 on me. I don't think so. Like I just RP saying, Kobe, but how he ain't scoring how that 81 fuck, on me. How the fuck did Jalen Rose let this nigga give him hell like that? How did you stay in the game? <laughs> I know. How did you stay for all 80, 81 points? I, I think you. I think they say he got seventy of them. Of them shits was his. Mm-hmm. Are you are you crazy? The nigga, only way he's scoring is off his. Of I'm going to die on that court. Hell yeah, nigga. nigga. I'm, if I'm I denying. don't die, Kobe dead. That was crazy. Wow. Wow. I was like, <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> oh, that was crazy. 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 Yo, Kyle, is my camera straight? Like my shit not blurry? Where? Oh, it's good. Cause yeah, niggas is wild. Nigga, that was crazy. That was crazy. But look though, the nigga, 80, 81 points is a lot of points. That's a lot of. You buckets. just watching that nigga give you hell. No, let the nigga give the bench player hell. Nigga, not give me hell. Bro. Exactly. It's gonna be the hardest. The 80 most, of his life, the bro. most I would let a nigga score on me before I start filing is thirty. Mm, before you start filing. Yeah. Before I start intentionally like like, like try really trying to hit you. Nigga, yeah. Like 30. Yeah. So when he gets But like, look, though, because I will let it slide if it's not a, a disrespectful 30. Like, if you're not, <laughs> step back, boom. Come down, <laughs> behind the back, uh. Ah, uh, that's what like, I'm if saying. If you're not, if you ain't come down, ooh, with me on you, boom. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Kobe doing that on me. Oh, he's getting, I'm hurting him. Any basketball player, bro, if you think you about to give me 40, you're going to get hurt. What if he can't hurt you? You stop him? I mean, what if you can't hurt him? I like can't stop him, man. He talking all that shit. Like, you little nigga, you thought that shit hurt? That'd be crazy. No, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm crunching him. <laughs> RP beam. I'm crunching that. <laughs> That's crazy work, I'm bro. I'm crunching Kobe. I'll be honest. Oh, my God. Like you said, the basketball players ain't that strong, bro. They're not. But Kobe a different time. But I, I think me, if it's on my life, I got to try, bro. I really got to try my hardest. My absolute hardest. Nigga, I'm, I'm not, not. I'm not man. fighting Randy Orton. I'm not going to win. You, I'm... Nigga, I, I could. I got a. I got a chance to get Randy Orton. I don't think I got a chance, bro. I'm. I'm not. You. You bigger than me, so I ain't can't yeah, do I that. I got a chance to get Randy Orton. So. Imagine a, a real life RKO. That should probably fucking hurt. No, that shit don't hurt, bro. No, like an actual one, not no fake. Like, like he's a. Like that shit might fucking hurt. Like on the wrong way, off the top rope, nigga. That's like a belly flop. That shit gonna fuck. So I would say that the contact of everything probably do hurt though. Yeah. Especially it might hurt Randy like laying on his back and shit like that, but that. Goes into my next question. Mm-hmm. All right, let's talk about the Randy Orton and the wrestling. Yeah, why did we stop watching wrestling? Like as a whole, as boys, right? Yeah. So my take is right that wrestling for for all of us guys, whether you was black, white, Indian, red, up, down, left, right, center, LGB, forty thousand. It yeah. don't matter who you was, right? For us guys, wrestling was bigger than than superheroes. Yeah, like they were superheroes for us. Low That's key. true. Like. Before I say I'm Superman, I'm doing suck it, nigga. I'm telling yeah, nigga yeah, suck yeah. it. Like, nigga that was that was bigger than everything and anything. Mm-hmm. So the amount of love we have for wrestling, why did we let the world take it from us? I just think for me, honestly, it just wasn't en- as entertaining anymore. Because mm. after I found like like everybody says, everybody kids, you're gonna figure out wrestling's not real. But I feel like these That's these real. kids nowadays, they know it's not they know real. It's real. They still I mean, like it's, it. It's not real. Yeah. But like, oh yeah, they know it's not real. And they still like it. But this my it's not that it's not real. It's staged. Yes, but like mm. back when we grew up, we grew up on shit where that shit really looked, looked real, yeah. bro. That nigga Vince McMahon, I thought he died. Yeah, when the too. nigga car exploded, mm-hmm. I thought he was dead. Are oh, you still watching during that time? Yeah. Oh shit, I, bro. When Vince McMahon car exploded, when freaking Undertaker what got buried like the funeral and shit, I thought mm. they was actually for real like. Dying. Dying. Me too. And that that's the that's the but that's what I'm saying. We felt that's great so much in love with that story. Yeah. So it's like, damn, we could watch power and we know that it's fake. Yeah. We could watch the girls could watch Bad Girls Club and we all know that it's staged and putting these people like we know that all of the reality TV is fake. Yeah. But what about wrestling made us pull back so hard when we heard that it was fake? I just think cause we I just really thought it was real, and just like now, look, now it makes me look at it in a more in-depth way. I'm like, yeah, nah, it's just it just wasn't entertaining no more, because I, I stopped watching it around like 2011, probably. Dang, that's that's early. That's real. Yeah, early. Like that's before middle school, right? Yeah, like I think fifth or grade. Fifth I probably grade, stopped. Yeah. 
it was just I was just watching it and I just didn't like enjoy it no more because mm. I was just like yeah I know these niggas not really hitting each other I know he's not this is why he's not winning but that's what I'm saying so how are we able to watch because anime lasted longer yeah. than wrestling did mm-hmm. because we know that anime is fake so how was it able because to it's like it wasn't misleading because we because in the beginning you didn't know wrestling was fake oh. but in the beginning you knew anime is fake like you know this shit can't be real like these niggas uh, doing all this shit and it was cartoons basically mm-hmm. but wrestling it's like that shit looked like niggas was part- it felt like a movie but a real life a movie, movie. Word. you know what word, I mean word. it felt like a real ass movie so mm-hmm. niggas wasn't really like um like enjoying it anymore when niggas was like dang this shit was really staged that's like if like imagine niggas said that power was real like this whole time like all these niggas real people and then outside the show they were still like their characters mm-hmm. That would probably be the same, like, and that's like the before they said it was fake. That would probably, I would probably not like power as much uh, if they said it was fake afterwards, just the same way as wrestling. Mm. You know, it would be tough though. What? If the actors from power, right? Yeah. Would have staged themselves like wrestlers. So say that nigga Michael Rainey yeah. would have be outside, me mugging niggas, because niggas see him and be like, yo, Tariq, bro, why you do that shit? Yeah. Imagine he really turned into Tariq, like, nigga, fuck you. Mm. Niggas would be like, oh, yeah. oh my goodness. And he would get hella pressed for being like that. That is, that'd be funny, though. That'd be very entertaining. If I was an actor, I'd do that sometimes. Mm-hmm. What, nigga? If I'm like, nah, nah, I can't. It'd be hella entertaining. You'd be like, nigga, fuck you. That'd be, that'd like, be funny. I, the, the world would be like. I'd do that shit. But what? I feel like, I feel like what also played a part was that we started finding different interests yeah. around the time. Because everybody stopped watching from fifth grade to like eighth grade. Yeah. Around that time, I'll say, like, between those, that time period is where everyone stops. Yeah, that's true. So it's like, okay, niggas start playing sports, niggas start getting invested into girls. Video games. Because you, you talk to video games, you talk to a girl, they're like, you watch wrestling? Yeah. Nigga, I used to have my, my action figures. That or... shit, nigga, everybody had the, I had the toys, the belt, nigga. The fucking the ring. PSP the ring. games. P- games oh, out the so. ass. Every, new, every year, we want the game, we're going to play that game until we can't no more, man. It's just sad. It, just, bro. it has so much replay value. It was just so fun. I don't know how these kids like it now. It's not as good as it used to be. No, when we were playing WWE, I think it was two K twenty two. Yeah, nigga, I was having a time of my but life. I, I know, but it's a video game. But I'm saying like real, like watching wrestling. Oh, watching I don't know wrestling. how that's entertaining. So for real. recently, I just seen The Rock came back. Right, I was yeah. on TikTok scrolling. And I watched it, and I'm like, this felt good to watch. Really, like, I enjoyed it. Like I might go back to. Watch I was it. smiling. Like I'm like. I like this, man. Like, really? I, you know, I'm, yeah, like I smile. Like I heard, cause I heard Raw's going to Netflix too. Yeah, I did see that too. Like one point five billion dollars. That ain't enough to make me watch it every week, though. Yeah, no. I just feel like life be life and too much for me to sit down and watch and watch a show every day every of, week. of the week. Like but not every day see, of the week. But you know what's crazy though? What? At twelve o'clock every Thursday, I'm gonna go and watch Power, and I know it's fake. You saw Raising Canaan last night. That's what I'm saying. I, didn't, I missed it. Mm. Is I'm it? I'm gonna watch it. Tonight, mm. I don't know, Kyle, Collins. When did you stop watching wrestling, or did you watch wrestling? Do you my remember? Son, my son no, Jeff Hardy. All left, of us bro. did. All of us watched wrestling. Like, yeah. Everybody. Jeff Hardy got packed up. I was done. What year was that? That was 2010 or 11. No, probably 10. No, no, no. Because 11. It might be 11. Because I think that was the same time I stopped watching. But it. I feel like I enjoyed it more because we was I was fighting. Though. Yeah, like, we was really wrestling. Look, I can't yeah. do that right now. We gonna get hurt. We That's too old. Yeah, we too old. Yeah. That's, that was another thing. Me and my siblings, bro. Yeah, we used to wrestle we'll all the time. close the door. I was surprised Somebody got my big ass bed. I was surprised I didn't break my cousin arm, bro. Bro. Get, did anybody get hurt like that? Nah, nobody got hurt. I think... Nah, you think some kid might have died? What? Somebody somebody definitely died from that. Like from like from, from wrestling? Hell yeah. Somebody definitely Somebody hit a, hit a nigga with a, with a stunner and was out cold, bro. Yeah. Or nah, a tombstone. Even, somebody, somebody probably did a tombstone. Oh yeah, and didn't properly know how to do it. Broken nigga. Dropped their little brother on the head. And oh yeah, that's so I, I definitely could see that. I definitely could see that. Oh damn, that sucks. I definitely I could see that. Had a trampoline on the trampoline. That oh shit yeah, lit. That oh shit nigga had the dumb, good man. life. That, that was tough. Was trampoline lit. wrestling. I used to try it. I didn't. I, only, I didn't have no. I only had one cousin with wrestling with the um, trampoline, but he was like Matt lived Matt far. Mm. Like we would do. Like I'm saying we were so creative with it. Like we would do our own entrance. We would get the little speaker, play the music. We come out. Yeah. We all just in that bitch. Because mm. mm. yeah. I was strong. Uh huh. So I could pick up anybody, like everybody. I could pick them up. Yeah. I, was, I was picking up two niggas. Like mm-hmm. I was getting crazy. 
I should go be a wrestler right now, bro. You could try out. But you, that's 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 your acting gig, bro. Try out. But that's what I'm saying. It's so much. You got to be an actor, an athlete. It's so much to do with it. Like you gotta it be is. An individual. Entertain you, I think, on the spot. Yeah. So I started. So now at my big age, that's how I kind of look at it. What? Like I look at them wrestlers like, yo, they really performing. Like they like really improv. Improv entertainers. Like that's why I look at them as. So I, I get it. The storylines and all that. So like, do okay. you do they practice their moves? Like they know this move's about to happen. Hell yeah. Mm. But the thing is, most of it is improv. I met a wrestler. Mm-hmm. So I asked. I had to like. I got it. I had to get the. the what wrestler info. did you met? Some nigga, bro. He was like an amateur. He was a it was an indie wrestler. Oh, so he might. I think he fought. Uh, he was on the same card as Jeff Hardy, mm-hmm. like last year. So he like he be in a mix. Yeah. He just happened to get a knee pads at Dick's Bone Goods. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, bro, how does this work? Like, how do y'all plan it out? He's like, we probably go over different spots throughout the show, like yeah. what we want to do, mm-hmm. so you know when this person do it. But everything is really in the flow. Ah, uh, like they might call something out like to each other while it's happening, but everything's really in the flow. Ah, uh, and I I fake peeped that when I watched Aaron wrestle. Aaron who? Aaron Hobbs. Oh yeah yeah like, yeah. It yeah. kind of looked like they were just going with the flow and trying to. That's hard though. You, that's good chemistry. It's great chemistry. Imagine you you building chemistry with somebody. You about to put on a show. Yeah, that's tough. So, Cause like I remember they said the one wrestler niggas didn't like wrestling was um Goldberg. I think it was yeah, because he was very like stiff and hurting people. And yeah, shit. he was actually like trying to like fuck niggas up. up yeah, like and I like I'm glad you talked about wrestling because I want to talk to you about this one thing, right? So I remember I was I was on Twitter the other day and I was seeing the shit about Chris Benoit. Mm-hmm. So you know you know the shit about Chris Benoit, right? Yeah. So if all, y'all don't know, that Chris, nigga name almost forbidden. Yes, to even say very forbidden to yeah. say. So basically, everybody knows Chris Benoit. He was a one of the best wrestlers at the time in the early 2000s. I'm not going to lie. Like, I wasn't... He was one of my faves. But. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And he died in 2007 because he murdered his family and then committed suicide. Mm-hmm. All right? So, I was... I, I It was on Twitter. It was like a post and there was like a little article about it. So, basically, right? So, he killed his wife first on Friday. And then Saturday morning, he killed his son. And then he hung himself Sunday mm-hmm. morning. And it's very weird. Like, after he did it, they said it was because he was on steroids, like roid rage. They said he had like 10 times the amount of testosterone in his body, mm-hmm. and it was really bad. And it was either from that or CTE, mm-hmm. from getting hit in the head a lot, which I didn't no. know CTE was... So the nigga's special move was a diving yes, headbutt. Yes, diving headbutt from the top ropes. So Crazy work. Bro. I didn't know CTE was that bad until mm-hmm. I remember there was a, a ex-wrestler who was like a neuroscientist now, and he, he started like a program like to help CTE patients. Because back then, it wasn't really common. Like, there was only four people back then. But, like, those four people, they was all in the NFL. Two of them committed suicide. And one of them was on a high-speed chase with the police because he was hearing uh, voices. voices in his head. And he died in the car accident. And I forgot why I was the last one. Mm-hmm. So now, anyways, with the Chris Benoit thing, the shit that was crazy to me is that 14 hours prior to him killing his wife, someone posted, anonymous person posted on a wiki page saying that Chris Benoit kills his family. And then it suddenly went away. And then the cops traced it back. The IP address traced it back to Stanford, Connecticut. And you know what's in Stanford, Connecticut, bro? The base of the WWE. The base of the WWE. So I don't know if that correlates with it because the, they interviewed the, the guy and he's basically saying like, oh, no, he's, um, it was just a coincidence. Like, it was just a, it was just a, like, I, I was just joking around. It was just a coincidence that it actually happened. But Eddie Guerrero died two years prior. Mm-hmm. Him and Eddie Guerrero were best friends. Yeah. So that was kind of weird when I was looking so, at that. So I heard people saying, so I, there's like a Beyond the Ring or Darkness, yeah, Dark yeah. Side of the Ring, yeah, 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 like yeah, that yeah, I yeah. watched. So. And they were saying that him and, Eddie, him and Eddie was dumb close. Right? Yes. So they said that Eddie passing away, like, damn near. Messed him up, yeah. Like, crushed that name. Yeah. So and it was, it was like, like, it was like random too. Like, he had like a random like heart attack. Random heart attack. Bro, I literally, for both of these niggas, that's how much I watch wrestling. Yeah. The night that they passed, mm-hmm. I was watching wrestling. Mm-hmm. So after the show, they literally posted, "Oh, this Eddie died. Yeah. Oh, Chris Benoit just died." And when Chris like, Benoit died, they had a whole thing from, but they didn't know why he died. They didn't know why. Yeah, they yeah. didn't know the the, the extra shit. And then, so like with all that, I don't know if it has a tie with maybe they knew something, mm-hmm. and the because the WWE is a billion dollar franchise. Vince McMahon's a billionaire, bro. For sure. And now you see now you see. And he just got indicted for supposedly trafficking. How do you feel about that? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Did you hear about that shit? About that, he shit on somebody's face? Yeah, he no, was they tweaking. they McMahon was crashing out. Like, yes. crashing out. 
So like, right. what if them niggas seen some shit and like maybe I would have maybe sounds they, crazy, right? It does sound but crazy. But a billionaire, I would have thought that you would have been able to cover up your tracks. You could, you, but you I, I feel could. like it's but it's so many tracks you probably could cover. That's up. That's what I'm saying, and I feel like as of him, imagine right. I don't think this is true, but imagine the nigga killed his family and just made it seem like he killed them. Because honestly, they just said he strangled them, strangled the wife and the kids, and then he hung himself. Mm-hmm. And then they found he had mad testosterone in his body, which is te- first of all, that's a lot of testosterone, ten times the normal amount. That's Ooh. OD. I don't even think you could fully function. Bro, with that. I feel like. He had CTE, but the nigga was crashing out. Oh, already. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just started doing shit. That's who, yeah. And you know, he was a little short, little stocky nigga. If mm-hmm. you look at him, it was like, yeah, you own something. Yeah. Like they, they, they were saying he was on steroids, but they was also saying that the WWE had a really big, like, drug policy. Like it was really hard. Yeah, they still do. It was really hard on it. They couldn't even smoke weed. Yeah. They, nigga said you couldn't even take aspirins. Yeah. Because they was going to flag you down for taking yeah, aspirin. That's why they, they started calling my nigga Perk Angle because Perk, said Perk, <laughs> Kurt, it's like, Popping them, bitches. yeah. Like, he was popping. You got addicted because you, your body is hurt. You fall oh, yeah, to the yeah. ground, getting up, falling to the ground, getting up, picking shit up, dropping shit all the time. That shit hurt, bro. I don't know. It was just I was reading into. It, I was like, this is a little fishy, bro. It, like I don't think it was, but it's not too far fetched if it possibly be. I don't think Vince McMahon did a hit on niggas because you know that's really niggas common. Saying Vince did a hit on niggas, you never know, no, bro. I'm you not got, jacking it. If you got bread, I feel like his move being a diving headbutt. Yeah. That's scientific for me. Like, yeah, he got Ah, uh, now you got CT. Because he really used to. Because, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I fake used to do that move. Nah, you crazy. I, I stayed away <laughs> from that shit. Hell no, you crazy. I fake used to do that move. Like, because I thought I really. That's the crazy part. And, like I said, like, you fully formed that? Like, not even, like, you're crazy. Niggas don't talk about Chris Benoit. But, nigga, that was one of my favorite wrestlers. Like, Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle, Undertaker, Kane. Yeah. And Goldberg. That's a good lineup. And RVD, excuse me. Yeah, RVD. Yeah, R- RVD over Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. So that group of people was like the main ones. The main ones. Mm-hmm. Like And then Chris Benoit crashed out. I'm like, damn. And now nobody even wants to speak on his name. Exactly. Or what he was he was putting on, like he was about to be the putting champion, on bro. every week, putting on like Bro, he was supposed to fight CM Punk, and that's when uh John Morrison came out. Niggas like, what the fuck? Mm. They was like, well, why the hell is this nigga here? And that's when that's the night he did it. When he was That's supposed to fight crazy. CM Punk for the ECW championship, whatever that shit called. And then John Morrison came out last second. And everybody was mad confused. Like, why the hell is he here? Because, like, he don't even fit the storyline. Mm. So, hey, man. This is just... that. Dang, that I forgot about that. Yeah, bro. Like, it's just really... I don't know. I just think... Like, you know, niggas can really pay for Hitman easy. Especially... Like, especially like niggas like me and you could pay for a Hitman. If, yeah, for sure. So, if a nigga's a billionaire... Pay a Hitman, bro. How'd you pay... It's like what? Pay uh, a little bird from up the street, bro. Pay the nigga thirty five, bro. Thirty five dollars? Nah, thirty five. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah thirty five. Take him out. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I got that a question was, though. What's, what's up? Your, <clears throat> what's your top three uh, signature moves, though? Signature moves. Dang, that was, I was going to ask that. That's question. a good question. So I look. look right, go ahead. Boom. Go ahead. So top five moves, right? Yeah. That I would say RVD, right? The frog splash. Ooh. That shit goes too crazy. Ooh. That nigga used to be up there with it, like yeah, the no, OD, yeah, OD, OD, OD. So, That's a good. I one. would say uh, the six one on six one on put on for everybody. Yeah, Ray Mysterio was us as kids, like because he little short. Yeah, as he fuck, little shit. Yeah, nigga was us. Okay, okay. Three, I would say the choke slam, because I felt uh, like the choke slam was like just tough. Like it just yeah. came at the right time. Mm-hmm. Four, the Batista bomb. The Batista, like the Batista bomb, bomb was so that was crazy. Underrated. That niggas don't very know underrated. Like, very underrated. Like when he would do it, yeah. and then he would mm, yeah. sit down bomb. That yeah. shit was tough. So fifth, I'm gonna go the classic spear. I was gonna say the spear. Right, nigga, one. do the spear. It's, it's over. tough. Nah, Edge was nice with it, bro. Like, Yo, him nah, and Jeff I, I done seen, was crazy. That's what I'm saying. I just see some crazy spears. So. I think for me, bro, can I say submissions too? Yeah, submissions. Have, submissions like, if I was doing submission, yeah. Walls of Jericho. Yeah, Walls of Jericho was like that. Walls of Jericho. Nigga, like I did that, that shit on my cousin all the time. <laughs> yeah, oh, Ryan. All Walls the time. Bro. Was like that, nigga that. Met, that nigga annoyed the fuck at me. Walls of Jericho immediately. Yeah, bro. Walls of Jericho was tough. Walls of Jericho. Five knuckle shuffle, bro. Mm-hmm. That is the most, felt like that was the most disrespectful shit. And yeah. I used to do that shit to my cousin all the time. And we used to take turns doing each other. Doing <laughs> other. I ain't gonna lie. We used to take turns. Like, right, you go oh, first. So, true. so, five knuckle shuffle. Mm. Fucking, um, 
That's tough. WrestleMania coming up. We talk about WrestleMania. I know, I know. Is it really? Mm-hmm. April. Isn't it Philly? Or was that last year? It's in Philly this year. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, to you. Um, are we doing iconic or the ones that we like the to do? The ones that you liked, like, type uh, shit. I got another question after this. Uh, uh, Attitude adjustment. I don't want to say that. Attitude, attitude, that's attitude the, that's the, adjustment was that was, was the main cute. one. It, it was, was cute, cute. But that's the one I did okay, a lot. Okay, that's the one okay, I did okay. a lot. Okay. I spear spears up there, and then um, fucking probably yeah, Batista bomb, bro. Batista bomb is very elite. That shit so was, I got a question, right? Yeah. If you if you were in a, I think somebody asked it actually. If what? you're in a street fight, right, yeah. What wrestler move could you use? Ooh. To win? To, to win. To oh. win the street fight. Like, to end this street fight. Like, y'all get it on. Oh, German <laughs> suplex. <laughs> German <laughs> suplex immediately. Uh, so nigga, y'all, y'all niggas, fake. I'm talking about, look, look, I'm telling y'all niggas really getting it on. Like, look, y'all tired. It's the end of the fight. Finish your move. What is it? Bro, fake up top. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, Just like tough, that, bro. Tough, Just tough, like tough, that, bro. Yeah, that's German suplex, at least. Or a fucking, um... Niggas, niggas is spearing is crazy. Niggas can't spear. Spearing is not gonna work. That's it. You <laughs> spear me, I'm getting up. So <laughs> a German suplex on a nigga, that would be wild. A German what about any you? any form of suplex is definitely working. Yeah. Cause that should have shocked everybody. First yeah. of, it'd have shocked the nigga being suplex. Exactly. Like, like, like yeah, yo, this, is this nigga, nigga really suplexing. Pick me, me up? Yeah. 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 But I would say if you could get a nigga in a Batista bomb. Nah, that shit's crazy, bro. <laughs> How the fuck? If you can get a nigga in a Batista nah, bomb. Nah, there's no way you can nigga, get Nigga, you won. There's no way you can get... You, there's if no way you, you can pull that off. Because, you know, some niggas are swing and put their head down. Nah, So, if you put your head down all the way, I'm a, huh, ah, Bro, there's no... Bring that shit down. Slam that shit. The, the only way you can get that off is if you already hurt the nigga. And he's like... Like he t- that's what I'm saying. Some niggas be tired. I thought I say it's the finishing move of the fight. We done, that's we done fucking fought, so we couldn't <laughs> fought no more. We gladiated. I would say another move I'll say is, of course, like the submissions. The submissions. I might is do a DT though. A DDT. DDT, bro. I might a do a DDT. DDT could yeah. get crazy. Oh, a DDT could get crazy on the cement. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> saying, bro? CTE, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. DDT could definitely get crazy on the cement. That CTE I mean, already. A sweet, a sweet chin, a sweet chin music. Sweet chin. Nah, no way you pull. Yo, you can't. Nah, you can pull it off. I can't. My leg don't go that high. <laughs> you can pull it off. You can pull it off. I don't think it knock a nigga out though. If you punch somebody like Randy Orton, you'll knock him out. Nah, if, bro. Yeah, that's a punt. Of course, the punt kick, the punt kick definitely worked. The Randy Orton punt kick, like that you, nigga was putting niggas. I feel like you could do a Sheamus boot before a sweet chin music, bro. Sheamus, that's you can hit a nigga kick, with a Sheamus kick, the bro kick. kick bro. But if the they bro catch kick that, work. you're done. Yeah, but because you, you, yeah, because you yeah. can you gotta wind up for the sweet yeah. chin music. Like they gonna see that coming a boot. You be like, Shh. like quick like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Big boot. The big boot could definitely work. But you gotta have a big boot yeah, on. Big. If you don't got a big boot on, this shit not working. If you yeah. kick me with some roast runs, nigga, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Collins? What move you using? Go to sleep when crazy too. The, but that's what I'm saying. Are you gonna? If a nigga gonna sit there and let you put you in a go to sleep? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. I feel like sometimes when people fight, they overcommit on their punches. punches anyway. yeah. You can do it real that, smooth. Pick them up. Think. Uh, but definitely a DDT though. A that's DDT easy word. Done. Easy word. Nigga, Any variation of, of the DDT. Bro, I uppercut you in the liver right there. Now you yeah. you hunched over. Shh, you're done. You're done. You're done. A right. DDT will kill. Right to I, your face, your, bro. You might not win the fight. You might kill that nigga. Yeah, you might. Yeah, you might die. D- depending on how bad it is, yeah. like you so might we die. got any variation of of a suplex of a jerk. Yeah, DDTs. D- any variation of a DDT? I don't think you could pull off a sweet chin music. I don't think. I, I think honestly, if you, I think tough, you can, can if you're quick enough. Uh, I don't. My hips is mad tight. I don't tight. think I nah, could do that. I for think real. I, I could get it, I especially get a with chin. those. Nah, nah that, that might take too long. With that's the what I'm saying. That's to get your foot he- up though. The, the, the nigga's gonna die. You got a moozy and he's getting up a little. Yeah, Man. I don't think you the could pull punk, the the Randy Orton punk kick is definitely D. Yeah, on niggas done up. You might kill him. I don't think you could pull off a. I don't think you could pull off a Batista bomb, bro. That's too much. I think I could, bro. I if a, like I it gotta be a little nigga. Yo, it gotta if, be a little nigga. No, bro. If a nigga overcommit, right? If a nigga overcommit on his punch, he or one of them niggas who yeah. swim got their head down. All right, bet. Come here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet you up because the niggas be doing this shit. <laughs> Go ahead. And- Go ahead and do that dumb shit. Say I'm gonna bomb you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crunch you like that'd be crazy, bro. I'm trying to think what what was Big Show move. 
the the slap. The slap. Make sure I had the chest slap. And he had a choke slam. Choke now you can't you choke slam, nigga. That's disrespectful as fuck, bro. But a choke slam could fuck around and work though. Mm-hmm. You might kill him if you grab his throat the wrong way. You just break his a rock pipe. bottom. A rock, a rock bottom. A could rock bottom could fight. work. He could work. You, you a rock bottom could really work in a like fight. You can, like you can like you can lock up and just. But like I don't know if you could pick up. But look though, if you could get combinations with the rock bottom. Yeah. You. Grab the nigga right here, and you lock it, nigga. Now you, now he in the yogi. Yeah. So you done slammed him to the ground. Now he in a uh, like, arm like this. Yeah, you, you, you can up, put a nigga in the headlock. Put a nigga in the that's headlock. Tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. What's the most disrespectful if you ever see an, if you ever see a, a fight? <laughs> like, like say you. What's the most disrespectful wrestling move to put in a fight? Like you, you watch a nigga fight, you see him putting that shit. Like, damn, this nigga like might want to like kill himself. So like this. if a nigga gets you. If a nigga do any of the moves that got taunting in it. Yes, like five nigga shuffle, like, you're five, fucking wild. If a nigga do this to me, and we fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you never, you, you never respected me as a as, as a, a human as a, being. As a, as a warrior. Like, we, we two here warriors, and you never respected my shit. That's bad. And you didn't respect my rumble. I don't, I don't like that. But nigga, that's like, <laughs> or if a nigga the Kofi kicks in the, and a nigga jump, <laughs> nah, you never respected me. But you think you could get that kick off? What the Kobe Kingston? Yeah, game? no, no, I can't. That shit dumb, disrespectful. That's though. crazy. If a, you let this nigga turn around, exactly, and kick you, yeah, now nah, like a like a fucking roundhouse. Yeah, a roundhouse. Nah, a roundhouse is fake. Like you could see the roundhouse uh, coming. Yeah. What, but if a nigga is a pro, like he'd really like do he's this quick shit, with it. Yeah, that, then, then he might catch you. I, but, I think you put a nigga in a wall, like a submission, like the walls of Jericho. That's fucking no, wild. The walls of Jericho no, is just, dumb crazy. In a street fight? That's wild. wild nigga, you like crazy. a bitch, yo. You like a bitch. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. That don't sound too crazy to to get. How about you putting an SDFU like this? Nigga, that shit don't fucking hurt. Bro. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But then, it's some kids, though, from probably our age group. That when they got a fight, they probably tried that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. But what? I'm going to say the I'm... most. Are you I'm going? I feel like if you if you tombstone me or pedigree me, nah, pedigree. I, I got it. That's crazy. <laughs> you gotta yeah. put the legs on top. Yeah, my my head under your balls now. That's wild. Nah, if you could get, I don't think somebody will let you pedigree them now. Nah, nah, that's crazy. You're strong work. enough, you could probably you do could that. probably do it. Yeah. Unless you brolic as hell, like you like a big nigga. But that's crazy. I would not let a nigga do that shit to me. A tombstone. Cause look, if you're in a street fight and the pedigree, you try it and it don't go. Exactly, you, you look fucked dumb up. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you look dumb as fuck, man. Like, why you got cuz between your legs and you jumping on him? Like, you look back. But if it go, it's like, yo, this nigga did a pedigree. That's fire. That's fire. Oh, like, that's heat. Like you, you hooked the arms. So you got the arms. Yeah, and you hooked them. yeah. That's tough. That'll be heat. That'll be heat. And the Batista bomb. The Those Batista bomb is the most disrespectful. That shit's yeah. mad. Disrespectful though. You throw me, you put me up like I'm, I'm a, a kid. Grown man. Yeah, like if you have somebody, <laughs> anything where like even this, I forgot what it's called. Fire, like not firemen, but this shit. Oh, the... if a nigga pick you up like this, <laughs> like with the great colleague. Yeah, like or... when they pick you up like this and they drop you. Nah, that's crazy. Or if a some nigga Samoan drop you, like that's the shit where they pick you up and they slam you. Yeah, back. nah, that's wild, bro. That shit wild, brother. That's crazy work. That shit would be... Oh, my God. That'd be entertaining to see, though. I'd be laughing That shit would go off. viral, and you would be famous for just that. Yeah. You would go viral. You would start crashing out, bro. <sighs> that's that's the type of shit that made niggas turn to gangs. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna join a gang after you go viral for that shit, for protection. <laughs> so that shit never happened to you again. Like, yeah, with this nigga, yeah, you a crip. Yeah, <laughs> like... Niggas probably... Like, nah, they gonna jump you. Nah, don't do that shit when we jump you, but yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. you them ones, bro. Yeah, you, you, really, like, you definitely joined the gang. Put on for the hood real yeah, quick, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's crazy work, bro. But... All right, so I want to uh, let's switch, let's transition to football now, because mm-hmm. since people are gonna watch this, it's gonna be in the Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna talk about predictions. But before we talk about predictions, right? I'm gonna give my prediction, hoping if some the right people sees this, they change the script that there's a script, right? Mm-hmm. So let me. T- so of course it's the Chiefs and the 49ers, right? I got some numbers for you, right? So I've been seeing this all over the internet, but I'm gonna say them. I got some, I found some other shit, right? So. Taylor Swift's favorite number is 13. Somebody at my job was just talking about this today. Oh, about the whole shit? The 13 shit, yeah. She said her favorite number is 13. Her album cover is 13. 100 minus 13 is 87. Mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey's number is 87. She's flying in from Tokyo to the Super Bowl because I think she's on tour or whatever. That's 13 hours away. The 49ers is the first seed. Chiefs is the third seed. One and three. 13. 49 is 4 plus 9 equals 13. So, 
Now, I'm not saying... Oh, I got way more, too. Fucking, um... Yeah. I'm not saying this shit is real. And then I looked up, like... I was say I was just curious. I looked up numerology and shit. Do you believe in numerology and shit? Like, with the numbers uh, mean something? I believe in... I believe in God. Amen, bro. Yeah, of course. I don't believe in that number shit. But yeah. they said, num- like, 13 is, like... If you see, like... It's, like, angel numbers where, like, 1313, thir- mm-hmm. one, one, that means you find your soulmate. Mm-hmm. So, what, what I'm predicting right now... Chiefs is going to win the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey is going to be the MVP. And when they ask him what you going to do after this, he going to propose to Taylor Swift when they say he's going to go to Disney World. I think he's going to do that. I'm predicting that right now. So if you see this, if it happens, you know what you got. He probably had that shit playing. Now Riggs ruined it. Hey, I want the 49ers to win. So I hope they see this shit and they change that shit around, bro. He probably had that shit playing like, yeah, I'm about to marry this girl. Because they both the same. Talk about it. They both the same age. Might as well. But Loki, what if they was dating like on the low? They probably have been. Nobody just started bringing a girl you just started dating. Exactly. Like off the road. Especially if it's like Taylor and, Swift. Yeah, next to your mom in front of the TV. Yeah. Like that. They probably dating for that man. Like, well, yeah, he was just with a chocolate woman though. So it hit different. You know what's crazy? Uh, that girl he was used to with, he was, she was best friends with my old track coach. Really? Mr. Stewart's daughter. You remember Mr. Stewart? Yeah. That, that was like her best friend. Because she went, well, she was my jumping coach. And she used to, she used to go to Georgia Tech. So she know she knew her. She knew Iman Shumpert. She was like Iman Shumpert's like Loki, like kind of like manager a little in the sense. Like they were like best friends. Mm. So niggas tweaked him. But who who do you think is going to the Super Bowl? What's I'm your- a bandwagon. So right now, fan. when it comes to it? football, I'm a bandwagon. So shout out my nigga Pat, uh, Patty Mahomes and shit. Like I'm fucking. What's the me. score? Uh, thirty-three. Thirty-three to twenty-eight. Hmm. High scoring game. Well, how about you, Collins? What's what your predictions for the Super Bowl? I got the Chiefs, but I want Christian McCaffrey to get that ring for real. I'm He's saying been that pain. But you score, bet on the Chiefs, sco- huh? You bet you want the Chiefs to win. I mean, they're gonna win. I saw the script already. <laughs> oh, all right. But score 31 28. 31 28. Chiefs. I'm going. San Francisco, 17-10. I think it's... I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I feel like niggas is going to be just getting stops. I'm going to say two picks in the whole game and a, and a fumble. I'm calling that right now, bro. Let me know Let me know your Super Bowl picks in the bottom. Before y'all watch the Super Bowl, comment down below because I think this episode is probably going to come out before the Super Ooh. Bowl type shit. But all right, I got another question for you, bro. Because, you know, niggas is starting to get into the game and shit like that. Follow us on Twitch if y'all want to see us game and shit. We're going to try to do it every weekend. You know, rotation of niggas, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be playing Warzone, 2K. I don't know, 2K kind of mid. I want to play this one, that that um, that other game, this new game that came out. I forgot what it's called. It's like it's like a four-player game, but, like, you go to, like, different worlds, and, like, you, like, kill, like, aliens and shit. And it's yeah, like, you talking about Divers? Yes. Oh. Or something, yeah, and that is, like, two or whatever. Mm-hmm. That shit looks mad fun. And Suicide Squad 2. Bro, I'm trying to play Suicide But I need to... I've been seeing niggas been saying that shit's been mid. Bro, if you don't give a fuck about what these new gamers give a fuck about, you enjoy it. Bro. We'll I, I enjoy Gotham Knights, bro. All right. So, if you guys want to see some of that, follow the Twitch down below type shit. So now I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So you see how the world is going into niggas going to war and shit. Say you got drafted, right? You got the drafted. NBA? No. Oh. Going to war. Front lines. You get to pick your primary and your secondary weapon to go into battle. Mm-hmm. What are you choosing? Who am I to war with? Uh, Iraq. Still you're crashing out. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is your primary and secondary weapon? You can say ARs or you can go specific. You can go you can go fucking shot. Nah, shot is crazy. You're gonna die immediately. Give me a bazooka. A bazooka for my secondary. Okay, I'm about to blow shit up. Like this nigga's crazy. I'm just about to light shit up. Like I'm just going. Okay, that's it. Okay, now what's your secondary. what's your primary? My primary. You can just give me two. I want a whole two shits. Like I want. I don't know what gun I want to. Probably a little two max. Like 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 a two max double pistols. Max, or nah, some max. Like oh, like the guns. oh 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 like little little <laughs> Uzis and shit. <laughs> like. Mac, Mac machine gun, yeah, Mac 10s. Mac 10s? Yeah. How about you, Collins? What's your what's your primary and secondary? Mm. Fuck it. 
Bazooka. Call of Duty wild. type shit. If I can you know Bazooka's like heavy as fuck. You know I'm strong as fuck. You know fuck. how long it takes to reload that, bro? I'm saying. Bro. You shoot. One shot. They got that tool. Is boom, nigga. Nigga, you shoot that bitch. If I'm in a position, with, first of all, I got the, the max. So yeah. I want to just. Spray. Okay. Go ahead. What, how about you, Cons? Uh, my fault. No, you cool. Probably a uh, secondary. I'm going to have to go. I'm about to get the dual dual SMGs, but saying, okay, crazy. that's tough. That's, that's tough. Some type of AR. I don't really care the AR. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing no LMG. It's Hell too no. Heavy. no. I ain't doing. I look. No, he might get a sniper. I got grenades too. You could. What you gonna get? Like, I I might get a sniper. Sniper. You're not, this you gotta get in the field, bro. What you I mean? I'm saying, I'm get a, in the field. Get the field. I am in the field. I'm high I mean, in though. Nah. But if I if I get drafted, bro. I'm just go out. I'm just. Like you said, just go go out shooting. Fuck it. You want to live this dream, it, bro. like Rambo bro. and shit. I just want. I'm gonna Rambo the fuck out that shit. Niggas is gonna immediately perish, bro. I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna go Rambo. Like y'all niggas set me here to die anyway, so I might as well I just know. go Rambo that. Bitch. I'm a. But the thing with the sniper is that's just very. You have to be. That's very. There's a lot of responsibility on your hands because you now you gotta point out all the other snipers mm-hmm. and you gotta hit your shot. If I get give me like two weeks practice, I, I think I'll be cool. Two bro. weeks, bro. To be a sniper. What you mean? I'm gonna be training damn near their whole lives and still miss. And still miss. Nah, I got niggas it, bro. get nervous in the moment. Or what if I? Or you know what? Give me give me an AR with the grenade launcher attachment under that bitch. Yeah, niggas playing Call of Duty right now. I'm they saying us, that's would, a real thing. Us, what would be our Call of Duty? <laughs> that's class? a real thing. That's a real thing it, is, I'm, it is, but right now he's getting creative with the Call of Duty stuff. You see, so he's asking what would be our Call of Duty class? Yeah, if we was in a war. Yeah, primary, secondary. I get the AR with the grenade, and then I will probably get like a little, probably like Uzi Mac ten, like MP5, like secondary type shit. Something I carry on my back, maybe, or maybe I get like a extendo pistol. Cause I don't want to. I want to be able to move. I don't want to be like too limited. Give me that. Big old bazooka, and I'm about to fire that bitch. Niggas is crazy. That shit's t- that shit's heavy as fuck, I just bro. Want to blow shit up. Niggas had just want to blow shit up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got another segment for you guys. Cause um, I know you are. Would you count yourself as a juice connoisseur? I'm a juice lover. I don't know if I'm a connoisseur though. As a connoisseur, mean like that's the same no, thing. Like you no, don't no, love no, juice. No, no. Connoisseur mean like you you drink some juice. Strawberry. <laughs> like, I, uh, what if it's like a or like you enjoy juice? I enjoy juice very much. So yes. now you I know, want you to I drink water now, bro. Niggas lying. You see that? Yeah, I can see that. That's that's peach. He drank that whole shit. It's water, bro. Niggas capping, bro. But I have a bunch of fruit punch brands. And I want you to rate them on how good they be from a one to ten. See, that's crazy though. Every fruit punch is different. Exactly. Every single fruit every fruit punch. punch is different. Maybe lying. What is the real fruit punch? We about to find out. Let's go, cuz. Let's see. Hawaiian punch. What would you rate Hawaiian punch? It depends. So Hawaiian punch get crazy. Whether it's in the bottle, mm. the can, mm. or the juice packet, they all taste different. Mm. I might be a juice kind of sore. It's about to get I'm crazy. See, I told you. You got excited. Because <laughs> shit. all them just taste different. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about the the jug one, though the big one, the big gallon. The big. Ones. So uh, a two liter. A two liter. Yeah. What you said? What was the question? Do I, where what would I, you rate that? One to ten. Ten being the best. Like ten being that shit busting. One being nasty. Is uh, 6.5. 6? Really? 6.5. The 2 liter? I might if get... it's not cold... No, nah, I'm saying it's it's the best it could possibly be. Yeah, bro. That's 6? It. First of all, you're talking about the the Hawaiian... The Hawaiian punch, yeah. The one with the little... The little dude surfing the, on the bitch. Nigga, that shit is 6.5. Really? Hell yeah. That's that's the juice that if you drink it, your teeth turn red. <laughs> 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 you start drinking that shit, your teeth turn red, your lips start getting red. Six point five. That shit not I cold get, is not busting. I get that shit 6. like a 5. seven and a half, bro. You're bugging. I like a wine punch. 5, that shit busts, bro. He don't drink real bevs, bro. When you go to, bro, when 5, we go, bro. when we used to go to the uh, McDonald's late at night when they had the wine punch on the hey, shit. What did you have to put in that bitch? Ice. Ice. I'm saying you could make it the best. Like you could, you could put. It's gonna be cold for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wine punch is cold. It's not like it's bad. Uh-huh. So is that if we ranking all the fruit punches. That's good. Cuzzy is a 6.5. That's a 6.5. Okay, yes, okay. There we go. <laughs> How about Minute Me, but in the carton? The premium? Ooh, that's a cool nine. Ah! That's a cool nine. <laughs> that's right my there. nigga, that shit. That's heat, a cool bro. nine, bro. The carton, bro. The that, carton, the carton one is crazy. great. crazy. 
That shit is gr- one, one of the best top five drinks. So, bro. cold, it might be a 10. Low key. Wait, wait, wait. You talking about the premium one or the twister one? Nah, nah, nah. Like I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Right. No, no, no. All right, so. That's the next one. I'm thinking you're just talking about them Jones in general. No, nah, I'm talking about Minute Maid Fruit Punch in that carton. So, I'm talking about. 8.7. 8.7? 8.7. I'm going to give it an 8.5. That's a good one. 8.7. So, and then the next one was the twister excited, Jones. 8.7. You said the twister Jones? The twister ones. But it's in the cartons, though. It's that should be a little. It feel like it's a little watered down. <laughs> that shit sugar free. It, should, it felt a little watered down. It's still rock though. Like it's yeah. still decent. Uh-huh. But it felt a little watered down. Mm-hmm. But it's still above Hawaiian Punch. I put that above Hawaiian Punch too. So I'm gonna give it a seven. I give that an eight. Seven and I give seven point five. Now we're going into the nah, Minute Maid. Might be a juice connoisseur. Say I think it was Captain. Yo, now I'm saying Minute Maid in the jug, like the big red jug. Now nah, that's different. <laughs> now we talking some different type. Yeah, go, right, go on, go on that. That's a, yeah, that's a cool nine point five, and cool is a ten. Yeah, it's a ten, bro. <laughs> so that's better than the carton. Yeah. That's oh better God, than the carton. <laughs> and you just keep pouring more. You like, I can't stop. Like that, like, that shit make you want to drink for the for the, for the, for the, the jug. The like, jug. <laughs> that shit too crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fire! Now that shit is up there, bro. I think, but I like I low key. Nah, I like the jug. The jug is crazy. The jug is crazy. The jug is crazy. Bro, that shit is. The jug is crazy. All right, now we're going into Simply Fruit Punch, like the Simply brand. Simply cool, but they they're it's cool. I would say they lemonade's good. I don't know about their fruit punch punch. though, because I do purchase their fruit punch. Their fruit punch, I say, Simply Fruit Punch Mm -hmm. is a cool. It's over Hawaiian. Really? Nah. Everything is over Hawaiian. Really? When ha- bro, Hawaiian, when it's not cold, is thick juice. So every, <laughs> Yo, everything cold. No, because. Nah, we saying everything, everything cold. Everything cold. Right everything cold. Everything cold, bro. Because so, Hawaiian better than Simply's, bro. Hawaiian is better than Simply's. Not, bro. I might take Hawaiian over Twi- the Twister joint, too. Hawaiian and Simply might be on the same tier. So six and a half. Six and a half, seven. Okay, okay, okay. Six and a half, seven. Simply be hitting. Simply seven. It's a seven. Seven. Sim- simply seven. I I don't like simply like joke, that though. I know niggas love the juice, so this got to be a clip. I put yeah, no, of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. This is great. Yeah, yeah. Simply is like a like a six and a half. I don't really like simply. I only like simply for the lemonade, Fucking bro. Nigga, because simply is not too sweet. So you feel like you low key healthy. But in that's it that out, shit. Bro. It's like it's like that tart shit. Like it leaves mm-hmm. like a tasty mouth. Like, Nigga, that is Hawaiian punch. No, Hawaiian punch no, is thick not, juice. No. <laughs> if you do not put ice in Hawaiian punch, bro, it'll leave your finger red. <laughs> Say you put your finger in that Hawaiian punch, you pull it out, your finger is red, bro. That's There's nice. so much sugar in that shit. <laughs> that is true. What would you give it, Collins? Six. Simply six. six. Simply six. six. I would say six, me. bro. Now, I mean, trip. fruit punch Gatorade. Nigga, four. Three. Now, if it's hot, that's like a four. Mm-hmm. If that shit cold though, I give it a seven. Y'all say, niggas tripping. I'm cold, saying that's not that side. bad. God God you done tripping. Hooping, bro, you done doing something. A just... red Gatorade, nigga. Fuck no, that's just a four. But the cold only the, the, only, the only bad thing about four a five. The only bad thing about a red Gatorade is that shit hurt the top of your mouth. You drink that shit too much. It, At least for me, it tastes like water, and then a nigga put this shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas cooking my meal. That shit meal's busting, bro. That shit tastes like like meal, bro. Nah, meal is delicious. I love meal. Nah, yeah, bro. Meals for niggas who mom say you can't have no juice, and then you be like, "Can I get <laughs> some? Can I get some meal though?" And well, she like, "All right, it's a little healthier," so she gave you some. Oh, uh, so what you gave it four? That's a cool four. I give Gary. Four, I give five. Like, I give like a seven. maybe a five. I give, six. I give a seven, six and a half. Just because, just because I, I there been you times. Can't, you, this is what I'm saying. You can't. Eat. I like when a fruit punch tastes oh. so versatile. So you can he eat did. it with different meals. He cooked, yeah. he cooked you cannot right. cooked at all have that bev for breakfast. Right. You can't. You can't. You, you can't me. have five. that bev for breakfast. Five. Five. That's crazy. That is crazy work. Like, but if you regular. go to that minimate in a jug, nigga, you can have that at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Maybe a <laughs> snack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Snack. All right. All right. So next one is Tampico. Tempe- All right, bro. I know you like Tampico. Bro. Trench baby, bro. You know we like the Tampico, <laughs> bro. Even though everybody say it's a bad band, That shit bro. is gross. That shit is wicked. If you grew up with a million siblings, bro, 
That's okay, <laughs> Pico is what y'all had, bro. So what I'm trying to tell you is, <laughs> that Pico is a. Even, I I said Hawaiian was thick juice. That shit is that thick shit is juice. thick juice. Shit you like chewing that juice. <laughs> you and that Joe chewing that juice. Yes, but still, still, still. For me personally. Tay Pico was a good 7.5. I'll take that. 7.5. 7. Nah, 8, that's 7. just 5. sweet as hell, though. Sweet as hell, yeah, 7.5. That shit like, that's like four, bro. Sometimes, you, Pico. sometimes when you drink it, it might, it might be stuck back in you. Like, yes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah, bit, but it's still 7.5, bro. I feel like I'm drinking like, there's like sand in that shit. Like, that shit is grainy, that bro. That shit is lean. <laughs> that yeah. shit is not... <laughs> <laughs> that shit great as fuck, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling like, you, like that shit really. I, I still jack crazy. it though, like, like I said, bro. Like I don't be a dollar, big old jug, dollar yeah. fifty. So I can, bro. Not that hitting. Tampico, bro. Yeah. You like Tampico, Collins? Yeah, it's cool. Nah. Seven, not Tampico. Seven point five. Tampico get a seven point five. Nah. For the bro. All right, high C. High C is very mm. elite. High C is great drinks. High C. Are we talking high C? Bottle Ju- juice box, juice box, nigga, Ooh, give it a yeah. forty thousand. <laughs> juice box, juice box, no, juice box is up. Yeah, the juice box. That's a nine point five. Yeah, that's like juice a nine, box is nine point five, bro. That's up there. That's top two, top three up there. Yo, that's juice memories right there with the little box. pineapple on that shit. Yeah. You don't taste the pineapple in low key. Juice box. I swear, fruit punch got fi- pineapple on the covers. There's no pine. I don't taste no pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear that shit don't. I feel like I. Yeah, bro. Nine point five. Nine point five. I just had it. I said nine. Yeah, core memory. Yeah, core memory a lot. Type shit. Word. How about you, Collins? What number? That's definitely a nine. Nine. Mm. Type so shit. If it was high C orange. High C orange. That was Jeez. the best one. Nigga at McDonald's. High-C, yeah, high C orange at McDonald's. At McDonald's, bro. McDonald's. McDonald's is putting a lot of sugar in that bitch and oh, every yeah. bossa. Hell yeah, bro. Word. All right, Arizona. Arizona fruit punch. punch? Compared saying, to. Compared to the other fruit punch, because look, Arizona got the same effect too. They got the jug yeah. and a can, and it don't taste the same. I say the bottle, like ninety nine cent bottle, bottle ninety nine cent bottle. Yeah, or a can, whatever. It so, put on for like real good times, bro. Back in the day, so I can't disrespect where I came from. So I know, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get the Arizona eight. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that was the that was like the that was the worst Arizona flavor. Yo, no cap. That fruit punch one, that shit looks nah, good. Nah, fruit, fruit punch is eight. nasty, bro. Like, fruit punch is eight. Like I it don't compare to the other ones that we put at this tier. I'll take so that orange eight. aid before that shit, bro. Hmm. I'll take the orange aid before that. The orange You're aid, crazy. Not I'll take the grape low key. Nah, I might, grape, grape is super tough. Okay. I might take grape the- Grape is super tough. Hold on, let me look at the other Arizona flavors. Like that- Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, oh watermelon is best Watermelon is OD. Half a half. Half a half. Is, fruit punch is over half a half. Oh, yeah. Half and mm. half is decent. Half and half is decent. They're both bad. Fruit punch is over half and mm. half. Y'all niggas is wild. No, I, bro, that like fruit punch, it just it. didn't taste right to me, bro. It just, I don't know what it was. Niggas don't drink good bevs, bro. The aftertaste too. <laughs> it do, it do got an aftertaste. It do got aftertaste. Like I just don't. That fruit punch. Every time I see that little purple, bar, I'm like, nah, that shit not for me, bro. Not that purple one, bro. The sweet tea was alright. Sweet tea was cool. But that shit nigga, was... I take the diet over that shit. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Nah, nah, nah. I'm wilding. Yeah. yeah, you're definitely well. <laughs> okay, okay. And the last one is Kool Aid, OG fruit punch. I was thinking, I was thinking about Kool Aid. I was like, OG fruit punch. Kool-Aid. So that is the OG right there. OG of fruit punches. Wait, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Kool Aid. No. Does not compare. Mm-hmm. To Minute Maid. <laughs> it don't. It don't. It do not compare to the Minute Maid in this shit. Good nostalgia. But, but I would say Kool Aid is an eight point five, eight point seven. Word, yeah, eight point seven. I'll say, I'll say eight, eight and a half. No, no, no. yeah, Kool Aid, eight point seven. Eight, eight yeah, I don't because think because sometimes you could make the some good ass Kool Aid, good ass Kool Aid. But there's some people that don't know how to make, make Kool Aid. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'd be, I might, I might bump down to like an eight, just because there's niggas that don't really know how to make. Kool-Aid. But no, but we talk about the prime of it. The prime, the prime of it, prime okay, of it, eight point eight and a half, eight point five. I'm say eight point seven. The how about you, Kyle? Great Kool Aid, eight point. 8.5 for Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid fruit punch. Kool-Aid out fruit the punch. the pouch? Nah, like you make it. Out of the pouch. I'm not jacking it. I'm nah, I don't like the, the pouches. The powder joint. Yeah, powder oh, Powder joint? Yeah, I give it a, I give it a seven and a half, eight. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh. That's cool. But yeah, bro. I would be me and my boys talking about it at work because we were saying like, and I was like, oh, this, is a, this would be a good time for you. I know you like yeah. juice, bro. No, but ju- I do love juice, bro. But I'm cha- I told you I'm changing, bro. That's good, bro. I'm, I'm cutting down, bro. What's up? What's up? Come back? I'm gonna drink some juice, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, UJ, no, UJ on no, the cut right there's now. No, there's no juice in my crib huh. right now. I forgot to show niggas my shirt, bro. Since it's Valentine's Day, I got my shirt, man. 
They like my shirt. I forgot. I was getting hot in this bitch too, bro. <sighs> but. They <laughs> <laughs> got a Jaylene graphic tee. It's crazy, bro. Get off my dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, she bought me this. She That's bought, crazy. It's not cute, bro. That's your first it's time cute, wearing though. it. Nah, I wear it. I wear it a couple times. I wore it to work one time. I got to take your shit off. I wasn't going to ask you. Fucking, um. Damn, I just I just went blank. Oh no, because you said you said um you was um you you know you working out and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to ask you this in the beginning, so I think this is a good thing to. It's, it's getting a little serious now. How is your mental health, my brother? Because I know niggas don't really ask people that a lot. That I feel like also too when you ask somebody that they be very blunt on yeah. answer. Like, Nigga, I'm straight. You know shit happening, but you know we working. Well, you know. But I would say um my mental health right now. It's good. Yeah. Like I'm on the I'm on my path. Like and I'm following through with the things I said I want to do. Bro shit. As far as twenty twenty four. That's good, bro. Like there was like a little hiccup. Hiccup. Yeah. But niggas got like as soon as the hiccup, niggas got right back on track. Type shit. We're just like, yo, I said I wanted to get back into the gym after a hiatus. Like, yeah. You know, I'm back into it. hmm I said I wanted to start setting up my crib. And that's the shit I'm doing. That's good, bro. That's I good. bought a couch. I bought a uh, new couch. Grown man shit. Grown man shit. I was telling my mom, like, yo, that should fake a big purchase. Like, I yeah. ain't never bought no couch before. Couch so. be like, what, three? Yeah, so. Couch where? For downstairs? For downstairs. Yeah, I bought a couch for downstairs. Like, like brand new. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, type sir. Shit, yes, shit, sir. Shit, so. That's tough, bro. I'm about to buy uh, a couple of new TVs. Ah. Like, just stuff like that. Stuff to hang up and decorations and stuff. That's so good. That's good. Setting up for. Because I only really have guests like that. So, you know, setting up for. To have guests and yeah. just come over, chill out, just like that. That's tough. Um, That's tough. That's good though. For me, um, I've, I've been very blessed. And I know I've been very blessed. So yeah. that's, kept, that's kept me very level headed. That's all you can. That's um, all you can ask for, bro. So if you were to rate that from one to ten, what would you say? Where would you say you at? Where I'm at right now, I would say I'm at a high, but sir, I get distracted by people with vaginas sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I would say I'm definitely I'm definitely up there though. I do get distracted by people with vaginas so though. They be they be conquering me. That's my weakness. It's people with vagina. Link said pizza people with vaginas. So nigga, if oh, I'm, so people just gotta have a vagina. I don't know. Women, 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 <laughs> women. About to cook this women. nigga, bro. You wanna be specific, bro. We women, be, be correct, I forgot what year we are in. Yeah, bro. The women. I'll be distracted by the women, brother. Hey man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's it, but but not too distracted where I could fall off track. That's tough for me because I don't really do too much, uh, like chasing up girls and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so. you know, it just it comes to you. Yeah, it kind of come to me. Sometimes I may go forward too. You know, might take two steps. Yeah, but yeah, I won't run. Like, yeah, type shit, type shit. I really be using Jedi mind trick and shit. Nigga but, said he uses the force, bro. It's yeah, crazy. I really be using work. the force, like I'm like, dang, I want her. And then I got her. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> this is sick work. Yeah, got her. But, but nah, I, that's that's been my thing. No, it's to you that's know, good though. Stay on track because you know you always gotta make sure niggas' mental is okay. Because you know yeah, you yeah. never know what niggas is going through. Yeah, I haven't nothing nothing too like drastic, depressing, nothing too drastic to take me off course. Yeah, I get you. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, like I said, I'm very grateful. So not too many times you'll see me down and out mm-hmm. because I always look at the brighter side of things. Like of course. I know that. So I know okay, shit bad right now, but. This situation that happened in 2017 was really bad, and I don't even give a fuck about it in 2024. Exactly. So that's how I kind of look at it. That's how you got to be, people. Yeah. Make sure you check up on your people, bro. Make sure everybody's mental health is good, bro. Yeah, we, we blessed to be living, man. We blessed to be How about you, brother? You know, I'm straight. Like, you know, there's always those days where, you know, you everybody has their lows once in a while, mm-hmm. but I'm probably, I'm on the, the, up, the, the up climb right now. Mm. Just chilling. Just like, it's mostly just for like, like life, bro. You just yeah. think about your life and it's just like, dang, there's a lot of stuff that's about to happen. Like, you know, you can't be a kid no more, bro. Bro, shit. Sure. Like, you got to start sure. doing. It's you gotta, focus time, man. You got to start focusing on, like, where you want to work at. Uh, work. Freaking when you want to move out and shit. Me and, me and Jay about to make five years in a couple weeks. Niggas be asking me about marriage and stuff. I'm like, you know, I ain't got money for all that yet. Mm. But it's just like, I'm just, I'm just worrying about just growing myself as in like being the best person for me as well as for 
Jay, and this was for like you guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, I do get kind of lost where it's like, is this what the type of person like, like how do I get to being the person that I'm thinking about mm -hmm. that I want to be? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do get lost and it kind of gets like, you know, get a little down, but like I'm realizing like, you know, it's just going to grow over time, like with different experiences and like different, like not really opportunities, but like different things happening. It's going to let me uh, to allow me to show how much I've grown, whether it's with like in certain situations, whether it's like where with the pilot, like, I have to have a business meeting and shit. And I have to like, you know, set up like a whole business conference trying to sell what we're doing to investors. You know what I'm saying? I got to learn how to do shit like that. And I just feel like some, some days it be overwhelming, but it's, I've learned to, you know, just keep my faith mm -hmm. with the man above because he always got a plan for you, bro. God is good, bro. God is always good, bro. And just, you know, never worry about it too much because, you know, it's always better. It's always better on the other side. I, I mean, I, I kind of, I've been, that's what I'm saying. I've been on such a, like a, put my first, put my first, my, my first, put myself first journey. Yeah. Where it's like, I kind of separated from, yeah. from the guys and stuff like that just because it's like, it's like, yo, I got to, you got to do what you got to do. On me. I got to do what I got to do. It's where I feel comfortable, where I'm the best at, that's the kind of things I got to focus on and do. Like, it's, it's stuff bigger than, like little shit that be going on. Yeah, hey, so. I get you. Yeah. But that's why that's why we all good friends, bro. Cause at the end of the day, we all brothers, bro. And it's like, even though we all gonna go on our little paths and little journeys of like, you know, trying to be better humans and better people in this world, we have the bond where it's like we can always come back. It's never it's not it's gonna be like we ain't never left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we'll talk about that <laughs> Nigga sick. Yeah. But after being all serious, I got something funny we could do now. Mm -hmm. So you know how we always do the would you rather questions? Mm -hmm. I got a would you rather speed run. Oh, bad nigga. Speed. And I, I got like, how, how long I got to answer it? You got two seconds. Like Say one no Mississippi, more, two nigga. Mississippi. All right. So, ready. Uh, Set. Mm -hmm. Would you rather. Oh, wait. And afterwards, we're going to react no, to what nigga, you said. Think about a cheat, bro. Go we're going to react to what you said. Me and Kyle's going to react to what you said. Right, go ahead. Ready? Bro. Would you rather have legs as long as your fingers or fingers as long as your legs? I would rather have legs. Uh, oh, shit. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> I have fingers as long as my legs. Okay. Ooh. Would you rather have taste buds? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Fuck it. Go ahead. Would you rather have taste buds on your hands or your feet? On oh, my hands. Easily. <laughs> would you rather eat your family pet or kill your parents? Eat my family pet. All right, little bro. All right, be go, go. Like <laughs> Would you rather have sex with a very, very ugly, smelly woman or a very beautiful corpse? Uh, very, very ugly, <laughs> smelly woman. I'm not fucking no dead shit, bro. Would you rather your girl have sex with your dad or your homie have sex with your, mo sex with your mom? Five. Bro, four, bro got killed mom, three. bro. Don't be like that. Would you rather eat doo-doo flavored chocolate or eat chocolate flavored doo-doo? Chocolate. Ooh. Oh shit! Uh, let me get some. Four. Let me get that dookie, bro. If it tastes good, let me get that dookie. Let me get that dookie. Would you rather drink your own piss or drink someone else's blood? Five. What did What did they eat today? <laughs> like, no. Magic Johnson. Uh, if it's Magic Johnson, it's deep, bro. Give me some, give me my pee, bro. Give me or, my pee, bro. Let me get purified. Now, bro. Give me my pee. Okay, last one. Would you rather punch an eight-year-old in the face or have sex with a hundred-year-old woman? Nigga, I'll beat the fuck out that kid. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm like combo low, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, now, let's review what you said. So, first question you said, the question was, would you rather have legs as long as your fingers or fingers as long as your legs? And you said fingers as long as your legs. Mm -hmm. So, that means your fingers is this long. Now I got some legs on me. That's why I try to switch, bro. So you want to have legs as long as your fingers? No, nah, I want to have... Damn. That's what I'm oh. saying. You're going to be little as hell. You're not going to be able to walk. So, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm having I'm legs cooked. as long as my fingers. Because at least yeah, I'm in so a I, wheelchair. Yeah, wheelchair. Word, word, word. Nigga, I'm out. It was too quick. I couldn't think about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we say, would you rather have taste buds on your hands or on your feet? Hands easily. You, nigga, you be grabbing stuff. Fuck it. Bro, you wipe your ass. Keep a put some gloves on. on. Yeah. That was an easy answer. That was an easy answer? Yeah. But you put socks on. Put some gloves on. Like, you know, bro, but like you put socks on more than you put gloves on. I would rather taste rubber all day than taste socks all day. 
Especially after we hooped. Yeah. Like, imagine that. Okay, okay, okay. Would you rather eat your family pet or kill your parents? R.P. Coco, bro. Easy. Nah, that's true. Yeah, we got that dog. That nigga gonna get eaten, bro. <laughs> Made that nigga into a burger. Be like that, bro. Would you rather have sex with a very ugly, smelly woman or a very beautiful corpse? What were you doing? This nigga was crazy. You seen him in the background? Stop. This nigga no, was wild. He's crashing around. He's crashing <laughs> How? Who are we talking? <laughs> who are we Who's talking about? Person? Who? No, no, no. Like ice, ice Spice. R.P. Ice Spice, bro. She dead, bro. What you stop, doing? Stop, stop, stop. It's your Q&A, bro. <laughs> no, no. R.P. Ice Spice, bro. Ice Spice laid out, bro. Mm. Dead. Look at you. Freak yo, out, no. Bro. You're wildin'. <laughs> you're wildin'. <laughs> no, nigga. How ugly crazy. is she and how I'm bad I'm talking about smelled. the worst. Like, nah, I mean. I gotta. Bro. You got to, nigga. A dead body? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. This is crazy. All right, your girl have sex with your dad or your homie have sex with your mom? Mm-hmm. What would you you picked your homie having sex with your mom, which is what I would have picked. That's what I'm picking too. That's what I'm picking too. That's crazy where my dad my has sex girl, with my girl. Oh, that would hurt. Father? Not my dad, bro. Not my dad, bro. Not my that's, dad. That's crazy work. Dang. Would you rather eat doodoo flavored chocolate or chocolate flavored doodoo? You picked the doodoo. Yeah, give me a doodoo. I do. I'll take... But that's still <laughs> shit though. Either way, you feel like you eating shit, so fuck. <laughs> so just give me, give me the the shit that tastes good. Yeah, that tastes good. I'm okay. I'll close my. I'll do that. I'm gonna close my eyes. Is it shaped like a chocolate bar? No, or shaped is it like a, a piece of shit. A log of shit. Like a log of doo doo. But it, it tastes smell and tastes like chocolate. It smells and tastes like chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, give me that doogie. Like it's in your hand. Like it feel like <laughs> think about the throw up and shit. Mm. <laughs> so what you gonna do, Colin? I'm about to eat the shit. Eat the shit, yeah. I think I think that's the only answer. Eat shit flavored chocolate. But shit flavored chocolate though. Nah, Man. yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm yes. wild. I'm wild. All right. Drink your own pee or drink someone else's blood. I'm drinking my own pee. Yeah. yeah. Drink someone else's blood is wild. I make sure I had a day, two days, three days filled with water. 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 Mm-hmm. Just recycling. Type shit. And then the last one, would you have punch an eight year old in the face or have sex with a hundred year old woman? Hey, Hachi uppercut. Why the kid, bro? She that- getting Batista bomb. No, it's a kid. The the kid getting Batista. Yo, bomb. why is niggas? I thought he said the the hundred year old woman was no, getting Batista. You haven't. Yeah, that's what I thought he said. No, you having sex. You want to have sex with a hundred year old, 100 she year old woman? Die. Nigga, I'm a killer. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> niggas said I'm a kill like her, that. not a killer. He said I'm a kill her. That yeah. niggas is crazy work. Nah, but yeah, bro. You got anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, of course, the the scenario, bro. What's in it? Oh, I got a scenario for you, bro. We was what? talking about it the other day. Um, so pretty much, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna shorten it. Right? Yeah. So pretty much, your son. Yeah. Of twelve years old. Mm-hmm. So you raised him, single dad. It's your child. It's just, just you in the, in the picture, bro. Mm-hmm. He got hypnotized, right? Yeah. By a hypnotist. Mm-hmm. And the hypnotist turned him into a child soldier. Okay. And the only way. For him to come back to reality, it's for him to kill you. Mm. Do you let him kill you, or do you kill him? No, I'm murdering that kid. R.I.P. Junior. He got to die. One, because... <laughs> one, because... At the, okay, it is my fault. I let him go, mm-hmm. but it's like... I can't let my son kill me. Maybe, but he'll come out of it and be able to avenge you. But now his yeah. life fucked. Now he got to go to jail and shit. But he got so... No, no, no. Oh, niggas don't know. Like, it's niggas like, don't know, yeah. He doesn't go to jail. Will he know that he killed me? He will know he killed you. Oh, nah. But he will know the reason why he did it, too, was that guy. Nah, I'm going to put him at his misery. Because I feel like, if he me, right? If mm. I kill my father, I'm going to be like, damn, I'm going to be terrible my whole life. Mm. Nah, now nah, I'm going to kill yeah, you, bro. I'm going to put yeah, you at your misery. And the nigga killed... Nah, that's crazy, bro. So you would be okay with living life knowing that you killed your, your only son? I don't know, bro. I might have to let him cat me. <laughs> really? <laughs> you would be okay with living your life Knowing you killed your son, like your baby boy, like you just killed your baby boy. Oh, your no. one. I'm talking about your junior, Darius Watkins Jr. You just killed that nigga. Ah, oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Said, oh, imagine, no. imagine yeah. if it was you and your son, like Will Smith and Jaden in pursuit of happiness. I feel like yeah. I feel I feel like Will Smith like killed that kid. I'm talking about you and, and you. your son. It's you and your son against the world. Like you're raising this nigga with no way. Ah, damn. Your rich, you know that connection y'all niggas would have. We go in a basketball game. He my best game. friend. That nigga's your buddy. How he killing me? <laughs> how he killing me? Huh? Like he's trying to murder? Like he's, he's trying, trying to, to stab me? He's a child soldier. Like so how? He, he, 
stab, shoot, kill, whatever he can do to take you out. He's a child soldier. Damn. I might just make him a prisoner, though. Like, that but then he's still nah, in he's that a soldier, bro. That nigga's like fucking Robin. The guy soldier, that hypnotized yeah. him. But that nigga's like fucking Robin. You don't know the guy who hypnotized just him. Just kill me, bro. I lived <sighs> long enough. You, you 12. Niggas bro. made me feel bad now. Because I was about to say that nigga dead, bro. <laughs> Yo. I'm about to say, that, that little nigga can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but like looking back at it, he my best friend. I let him kill me. He better not be no crazy shit. Like He better nigga, not be like, he's... yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he, like, he, like he's pushing the knife in my chest. Like, yeah. Now you know how it feels. I'm like, what the fuck? So boom, as the nigga, he's, he's sta- say he's stabbing you. If he's, as he's stabbing you, yeah. that's when he, he breaks back. So he y'all have a... 0.5 second to communicate. Like, it's okay. I'm going to say, like, it was worth it. Nigga think he in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? You going to let him kill you? Um, I'm stuck, too. I'm stuck, too. Like, I'm like, damn. And we and we said, like, boom, you're 30, you're 33. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll let him kill me. So you still a young nigga, bro. You still not even that old. Damn. You still got a low key a lot of life to live. Nah, you know what? I'm probably in like debt. Damn, but not that debt on that huh? nigga. I'm probably in debt. I'm probably in debt. I probably got like hella pill- bills I gotta pay. He can kill me. Nigga <laughs> 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 said suicide, bro. Just fuck it, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Fuck it, bro. Oh, as long as it's quick, though. As long as, if, he, if he try to torture me, like he got me hanged up oh, and shit, that's don't even wild, stab bro. Me. You gotta shoot me. Just make it quick. Yeah. Stabbing, bro. Stab me. He try to. He try to like do some wild shit. Like throw me off a cliff. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, yo. Yeah, he throw me off a cr- off a cliff. Like he kicked me off a hey, child soldier. So he just on BT. Nigga can fucking suffocate me. Nah. Yeah. Nah. He'll kill me though. So you still don't know. I'm gonna have to kill that nigga. Nigga, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to You're kill junior, that bro. little nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that little nigga. Nigga <laughs> ain't killing me. All right, now let me. <laughs> I'm a fat, fat, fat. Other one, fat, fat. Nigga ain't killing shit. Now let me. Now let me. Now let me. Let me. Let me. Let me adjust the question. Uh-huh. Say such a son. You have a daughter. Oh shit! I'm gonna th- boom my ass too, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna. Woo! Uh, <laughs> nah, I got boom my ass too, bro. I'm Wait, not, <laughs> no. It's my daughter. Damn, bro, that's, that's your baby that's girl, baby bro. Girl, right there, though. You know the you know the fathers always love the daughters, yeah. bro. Yeah, she twelve. She twelve. She twelve. No mother. No mother. And you raised her. You might as well. I don't know. I feel like if my kids end up like that, you might as well continue to what you doing. What? Like kill me? Or let her. Like if you kill me, you gotta kill that nigga too. And then boom. But look, that's the thing though. You're now setting up your child for a life of like fucking hell, misery. Just oh, always thinking murdered. about murdering niggas. She might be a thought, low key. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> awesome shit. That from? Awesome shit, bro. I kill. <laughs> she she won't trust niggas. Hmm. I just kill my. Fa- she kill your her dad. Line of niggas. You think she'll? The fuck? How she gonna trust? That? She like. Man, nah, she don't have trust issues, bro. Well, it's Tariq, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, I can't kill. I can't. I can't kill my daughter though. That's my little girl, bro. I feel you like I'm gonna be your son. Huh? Do you kill your son though? T- nah, I, I I changed my mind. Hmm. He said he's gonna kill his son hmm. and the daughter. <laughs> Niggas go. <laughs> Sorry, dog. <laughs> Niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, I just think like with me, bro. If my especially. But he is right though. Put him out their misery. They don't right, gotta put, worry. Let's put him out the misery. They don't gotta worry about nothing. Twelve, bro. If he would have said both, pa- both parties were fucked because now you're going your whole life thinking about how you killed your your, your, your number one. I'm saying the person you live your life for. You're going your whole life thinking about how you killed fuck. them. You fucked. Yeah, I know. I feel like what, what would be the easy way out. What do you think is the easier way? Kill us both. Die. <laughs> we both die. We both die. Yeah. Oh, that could be. Nah, hell no. It's not his fault. What do you mean? It's not his fault that he got his not his fault. It's lucky your fault because you sent him to camp. Mm. But I let him kill me. I let them both kill me. You, on the other hand, are going to broad daylight <laughs> spin. <laughs> we going to spin and we going to find a hypnotist we going to spin again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you going to avenge him? I got I to gotta avenge him. I have to try. Real shit. That's a real nigga though. Real nigga, real dad. I gotta try, even though you just may never it's find him. It's not a real dad. He just killed his son. <laughs> <laughs> like, For a cause though. Bro, I can't. 
outlive my kids. Like that's I really don't want to outlive. I know I don't want to outlive my kids either. That's bad. Like I don't, I don't, I don't like to bury your kid, bro. Nah. Damn. So what's final answer? I love him. Kill me. Yeah, he kept me. He kill me. It's gonna be my as long as it's not no gruesome death like, like some shit where he, he run he run my ass over he stabbed me multiple times mm-hmm. I'm bleeding now he suffocate me, I let him kill me, for the greater good, bro. His mother would want me to do that. What if his... you about to go meet her? Of course, go up top, bro. Hey, mm-hmm. put me on my misery, bro. Ugh, but you got anything else you want? Anything nah, else you want to talk about? That was the last joint right That's there. Some crazy shit. Yeah, I just slowed the room down. <laughs> I just slowed the room down. It got real dark in here just that. She was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> slowed the room up. It yeah. got so dark. Like the the roller, energy just the roller coaster we had, we went we was like, yeah, mental health. And then we go to and then it goes to some funny shit. And then it goes to fucking that shit, that, yeah, that dark got, shit. It got so dark just now. But you got anything like, in the Kyle's in the back really thinking about damn my son my I daughter. don't know like, he's in the back like <laughs> yo but you got anything to say to the people of the world bro the no um, rights community thank y'all for supporting we got so much more coming mm-hmm. we got so much more in store we yep. just being creative 2024 keep supporting keep loving we gonna keep bringing out content every, every single, single week every week Every week, we have not missed a week. 126 like, straight they weeks. They get crazy just a like lot. that. 126 is like, a lot. Comment and subscribe, bro. Like, oh, comment shit. and subscribe. Post we notifications too, because that should turn help everything on. We're trying to go up. We're trying to get crazy. We're trying to turn up the year 2024. 2024 is a no regulars year. Type I'm trying to shit, show you bro. 2024 is our fucking year. Whether that's individuals, whether it's a group, niggas is turning the fuck up. Yes, sir. Bro. Show Couldn't say it any better, bro. Yeah, 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 if y'all yeah, new yeah. to the channel, like he said, subscribe, like, comment, post notifications, all that good shit, bro. We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. Gangsta. I go ready to go get it. Yeah. I go ready to go get it. Yeah. I go ready to go get it. Yeah.